Take your time. Got Bye, it. Bye, everyone. Hold on. Uh, I seem to have lost internet for the second time today. Had technical difficulties trying to get on. But I, I got June with me. Um, she'll be here till 7 because she has future plans with her wonderful son. Uh, and then maybe I'll bring in a few more people. Because this, I got a feeling, people, is going to be a long night. And I got lots of hours to use up. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's the end of May almost, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. 25, 26. Yeah. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, Aaron. Okay, we have. Okay, so what I did, I've been in the. Uh, yesterday I got in and I did my dishes. I ate dinner, did more dishes because I kind of cleaned the refrigerator out a little. And then I made a cheesecake. Mm hmm. Wow. It's like, I was going to do some laundry today. And it's like, no, it's craft day. So, did no. Did I've been in here since I don't know. Huh? Did you cheesecake crack? Uh, there was a boxed one. It don't taste too bad. Oh, okay. Pretty good. Good. But like I said, it nothing beats making a fresh one with Philadelphia cream cheese. Yes. And I am not an actor. But I can <laughs> sing. No, I can't. Not that no. <clears throat> anyway. So I finished the rosette wreath. I got my sticky thing to put on the door and I hung it on the door and then crunch. Oh. <laughs> so it fell off the door. I got my E6000 gluing the thing back up to the door right there. Wait a minute. There we go. E. Oh, nice. And I'll show you the wreath. Okay. I'll show you the wreath. The wreath is done. Right. Here we go. Oh, it's hard to see if I had a dark background, but. Oh, how pretty. Mom. Okay, I'll bring you in. I got, what, fairy and butterfly. I, I covered that with glitter. There's the dragonfly I made. Um, I have a penny for your thoughts. I love this. And I used the embossing enamel. Well, where are we at? Here we are. The embossing enamel on this one that I got from disorganizedcrafter.com. Gorgeous. Um, here's my little circ. Oh, it's there's my little lion I put in there. Oh, how cute that lion is. Okay, and then I did a acrylic heart. Nice. Um, there's a little flower. So there's the bottom and my little hologram, all of shiny gram leaves. I put some little mirrors in it. I painted this with black. Where am I at? Come here. That's a rose, right? It's yeah. a rose. And while it was wet, because I put coating on it, I sprinkled it with purple glitter. Nice. And it's freaking beautiful. Oh, my God. After I seen that, it's like I should have done the whole thing purple and black. <laughs> this is actually my attempt at doing a pansy but what i should have done was cut off a little bit of the edges like i did this flower oh okay um so let's see what else we've got a butterfly butterfly we have little metal piece with a acrylic acrylic rose in it lovely very yeah so there is my wreath Wow. And you did it in the diamond shape, too. Yep. Perfect. What did you use as the backing, Martha? Foam board. Oh, oh cool. Okay, like Dollar Tree? Uh, yeah, I said that right. Yeah, Dollar Tree. Dollar, do Dollar Tree. And I bought two of them in case I wanted to do something else. And I've got two other projects I might want to do. Excellent. <coughs> but I like it. I love it. Oh, no, no. Look at what I added today. Wow. I love my music. Oh, oh that's yeah. beautiful. I think, something, I think something still needs to go in the middle of this one, but I ain't figured it out yet. You will. I will. 
Yep, it'll come to you and know. Oh. Look at this one. This one is so cute with the little stitches. That's the perfect thing. Yes. I love that one. But yeah, it's done. Also, it looks like a happy kite almost. I know it's not. The, I know it's not a kite, but it just looks so happy. It's happy. I made it. I made it. It's got to be happy if I made it. Uh huh. Wow. Well, why? <laughs> a couple little. <laughs> Did you get a good booby shot there? No. Oh, I wasn't um, watching. You want to repeat it to see? I wasn't watching. <laughs> <laughs> I missed <No>. it. <laughs> a lot of people. No. Like, oh, she, the uh, Dai Dai said to go full screen. You should have went full screen. Oh. oh. So, I'm sorry. I should have read well, that. Well, you. Yeah, I didn't think about that neither. I wasn't looking at it. I will it. take a picture of it and I will post it on Ruby's page because I know there's people that probably go to, you know, that won't come over here. So I will take a picture of it when it's hanging on the wall, on the door. Could you that also put that it on dark your red ground? Put it on your page too. Well, yeah. Well, you don't know, always do that. <laughs> So I was just thinking how beautiful that was. That if you did, like you said, you had more stuff, um, more foam board. If you did a paper quilling one too, like I could just oh, see you. Wow. Oh God. Why? You know how big it would be if I wanted to do one of them. It'd be like that big. No, you can make like big roses with different petals and then put them together. I'm not. That I have faith in you. Oh, hey, if I do anything like that which I've made three and every one of them turned out pretty. I'm sure I would do it in a shadow box. I, there's no way in hell I'm going to let anything touch that work. That's um, true. going in a shadow box. That's true. Thinking about it. That's absolutely true. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Hi that everybody. Is. Hi Kathleen. Oh, I didn't text you. I I'm, can't sorry. I'm so glad you got here. Hi Erin. Hi Clint, Livia, Jamal. Die die. Hope I got everybody. Okay, so we are. June was the first one pop in. I sent her a link. And come on in, baby. Yep, we're hanging. Come on in, everyone. Make sure I might be in later too. If she, if Martha's here for hours, I might be uh, have my cup of coffee. I might burn the midnight oil. Who knows? I'm in the mood for the craft room, so we're gonna be here a while. Uh oh. We might have to take a half hour yawn break, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to start on the egg because I know everybody's been wanting me to do this egg. So do I to get okay. it done and out of out of this room. Okay, put it um, in the room, please. So I am going to try to figure out what kind of stencil to use because... I, 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 I don't know. I don't want the simple one. That's the simple one. Well, that might be the best one. No, because we're going to do kind of tinier dots this year. This this year? Yeah, this yeah. year. Um, this one is too, that could be perfect, but it's so tiny. So in between that and that one, that's gotta be no, not that one. It's gonna be one of these, and it's hard to tell, but there is a difference. Do -do -do -do. See, yeah. I don't, I don't even know this whole procedure. Why don't you put? Because all I'm doing is painting. <coughs> Did you put it on you so we could all watch what you're doing? Because I have no idea what you're doing. No, you gotta leave me on half. I'm painting leaves. My fingers? <laughs> yeah. All I'm doing is all, okay, hey, let's go down here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the lines. Okay. Hopefully we can get them looking pretty darn centered. My guidelines. So do I want the most one? You got to think about how much room you have here is I've got a feeling it's going to be this one because we but we should try for the difficulty right hey Christine um, doggy
Okay, so you put that on top of the egg. And I'm going to, these are going to be my guidelines. So I'm going to draw a line so I know. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what they're for, yes. So let's back up a little bit. Okay. Now I understand. Yeah. So, I mean, this is going to give me a lot of lines, but it's going to have to be really tiny work. Or I can use the other one that ain't so tiny. Oh, wait a minute. Is that it? This one's not as tiny. I'm going to go with that one. I could go with the bigger set, but probably make more work. So, hi, Hobick. Hi, Edith. Come on in, girls. Come on. So did everybody have a good of the weekend? What did you do? Did you stay home like we're supposed to? But I didn't. <laughs> uh -huh. I did. Nope. I went to uh, I went over to my bestie Linda's, ate over there and stayed over there for a good hour and a half. And then I went over to another place and had a good time. Bonfire. Mm-hmm. And then she put in a brand new pool, and it's even got windows in there, too. They're so cool. Windows in the pool? Yeah. Yeah. Well, both her, both her sons are autistic to a point. And Mason just loves to swim. He's the youngest one, so. Yeah, she says, I want to keep these boys entertained, so she spent some money on a pool, and I don't blame her. Yeah. That way they can get all the other stuff done, because they're going to do some new patio remodeling of the house, and all that kind of good stuff. All right, here we go. I'm going to draw a line. She's going to paint leaves. So they're both about the same boring. But I got to stand up. I can't see what the glass is on standing up. I just want to know why Olivia is stamping her foot. She's probably got a, one of the, you know how your feet go to sleep? I don't know. As long That's as what I do when my feet go to sleep. I stomp on it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do anything yet that deserves foot stamping. This is almost like you need a three people job here. You can't get into chat? Maybe you should re try to go out and come in. I don't know, Olivia. I'm just mentioning other things that I've heard other people say. If anybody knows why Olivia can't get in. But you're writing in chat. I don't, maybe you can't see chat. I don't know. Somebody who knows what's going on, say something. Try to refresh. I'm huh. not sure what's going on with her neither, but always try to refresh, which she probably did once. Oh, this is so hard to do. Would a little piece of tape help to hold the center? I think if I just hold it like I'm doing for a minute, it might work. Okay. They're just guidelines. Okay, I need some over here, don't I? There goes there, that goes there, that goes there. All right. Uh, that's one ugly guideline, but that will work. Oh, look at that. Oh, it'd be cool to do a freaking spider on one of these. Ooh, do a shadowed spider, what they call a 3D spider. Oh, that would be perfect. Some things are so cool. But I don't like the spider, but, I mean, we could do a snake. I can't really paint snakes. Uh, can we not? I hate snakes. I'd rather have to make a, th you can make an actual 3D spider out of polymer clay and put it on top and then just draw the, the um, spider web. Wouldn't that be fun? The, well, it was an idea. Not That's not going to be a follow-through for sure. <laughs> uh, it was an idea.
Oh. I don't know whose chat you're trying to get into, Olivia, but I hope you have. As long as you're with us, that's okay. I don't know what she is talking about. Either do I, but I don't know what have you know. That's that's nothing different. <laughs> Let me see. I'm gonna be Thank you. It's not Martha's chat I'm trying to get into, but I bet Dida and Teresa and Amy are peeing their pants laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, June Mountain Chat. Other chat. So she's trying to get into another chat and she had to be vocal about it. Now she got everybody on pins and needles. I love her accent, Olivia's accent. Oh my God. Okay. I think this is the color. Yeah. Probably not going to look perfect, but they will work. And hold the egg still. Now, working with an egg, if people have ever worked with an egg before, you have to be very careful on how you handle them to not rub off your patterns or your feet. Because <laughs> this is going to be a very slow process on this egg. It might take a couple weeks. Wow. I know it took way over a week to do dad's. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Yeah, wow. That is because a you have to like we're gonna probably do the middle. We're gonna probably do the dots and figure out exactly what colors we're gonna use, which I got a whole bunch here. Um and then maybe do a dot around it. Then you gotta set it away. I mean, we can do all four. And you gotta let it up, and you gotta let it dry. And that's gonna take an an hour. So it's a very long process because I messed up so much paint doing dads, being it was my first one. Right. And it was like I kept washing it and washing it, and it's like, no, I'm gonna do one section. But his egg, I I had it cockeyed. I had three of them on there. And, uh, oh, I couldn't, mm, I had such a problem with it. So it's like you got to do just a little bit at a time. Right there. But the egg turned out really cool. This one's going to be even better because I got some really cool paints. All right, we got all four sides done. And I'm not sure if they're really, they're pretty much good together except for right there. We got a bit of a gap. A little bit of a gap right in there, but no problem. That looks pretty even to me. And here is my little folder that I made just for my stencils, if we all remember. I love, I wish, this is the paper I wished I would have bought more of. I love them colors. I was just going to say that before. It's like, what is that pretty paper down there, Martha? Yeah, that would come out of the ferns. I think it was the ferns. I should have bought two of them. This, Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Yep. I like it. I like it. All right. We're done with the stencil. It's 
set that over there. Now let's figure out how we're going to color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to think upon this one, people. I know I'm doing purples and greens. I've got the cool blue. But I can't find the Bahama Mama. Oh, you love that one, too, right? Yeah. One of your favorite colors? I either It's either that or the cool blue. But, yeah, that Bahama Mama. I bet you if I go over there again, I'll find it. And what... Other ones I'm mainly going to use in here is, of course, this purple oh, that's glitter. Cool. And I'm going to use gold because I love gold. That is going to be stunning. And these look really cool when they're dropped on paper. Not so too good when you smear it with the brush. Hi, Ange. Hi, Rachel. Oh, hi, Ange. How are you doing, sweetie? <laughs> oh, mama. oh, hold back. What fun are you? <laughs> uh, I tell you what, woman. I want the Bahama. Okay, so anyway, what I'm going to do. Oh, shit. I don't think I'll ever find it. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. In the interviews, I keep going to. Bahama Mama. I don't know. Is that really pretty blue? I painted all the. I painted all the caps to my paint bottles. And who is that? Not me. That's yours. Hi, Amy. James. No, not the other Amy. Oh, sorry, ladies. I'll let you all in in a little bit. I'll let you in in a little bit. Um, 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 what am I looking for? Oh, crap. I wonder if it went in there somewhere. I better not have run out of the Bahama Mama. Oh, what's that? No. And the Bahama Mama. Oh, it was. No. It wasn't an outdoor paint, was it? Not that I can remember. Blue Bahama. Yes, it is an outdoor paint. It was in the outdoor paint. It was an outdoor Bahama. paint. <laughs> Patio paint. There's the Bahama Mama. It's Blue Bahama, actually. So. We found Bahama Mama, Christine, and it's an outdoor paint. Who knew? Okay, now I mostly want to do. God, I don't know what I want to do. I've also got some of these, which are actually called glasses on my head. Um, these are alka, um, alchemy, art alchemy. They're acrylic paints. This is a met metallic, and it is amethyst. And I've got. Four colors and they are absolutely freaking gorgeous paints. I don't even think I opened it up yet. That is oh, just beautiful. That is gorgeous. These are also from disorganizedcrafter.com in Etsy. Yes, so I got oh, that was the amethyst and and I I think I might try um this one's called sparks it, oh wait a minute you sent me this, this one didn't you I don't remember I think so yeah don't ask me to remember things like that okay then I won't I won't so <laughs> the question now is what colors do I want to start with um I really like a lot of my bright, bright colors. I know I want a lot of purples in it. Um, I'm thinking I want one of the glitters in the middle. Yeah, might have to do it this way, people. 
I want the glitter, I think, in one of the middles. That way it's going to show up, and I'm going to bring it up around here somewhere, too. I should have put the other little guidelines on it, but I'm all good with that. So if I do that, that means i got to have, oh, Bahama Middle. <laughs> I mean, you know, they might look good together. That was meant, that was a cool blue. Um, I haven't tried it. I know it works great on black. Looks very good on black. So, I don't want to do a black. Yeah, decisions, decisions, decisions. Well, while you're deciding, I'm just going to say hi to Bo because she's here. Oh, hi, Bo. How are you, honey? How's your hubby doing? And now Kelly's here. Hi, Kelly. Wow, Martha, you got a lot of people coming in. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> hi, Kelly. Hi, Come on, everybody. Come on in. Grab your craft stuff because we're going to be here a while. Yeah, get some coffee. Um, I could do it on a petunia purple. I actually should do it on a light color. That way it'll show. I think I should do the petunia purple. Yeah, okay. So I think we're going to start with that color. Oh, don't. My other purple favorite is the purple pizzazz. Or, wait a minute, is it? Pizzazz, yeah. Purple pizzazz. I got a couple, I think, teals. I got Laguna and a Peacock Pearl. I don't know if I want all this pearly stuff. I put a green color shift in there, but I don't know if we'll use that. So, being that this is going to be such littler spots, we've got to go down. You know, I like the big one. For the middle dot. I don't know. No, we're not. We're going to do a smaller one. We'll go one down. That looks good to me. And I hope I got enough of that uh, napkin to do that other box. Because I want to do it the same as the other one. So while we're letting this kind of dry... Not sure we will go further with this tonight, but. And you have to let it sit or it kind of molds off to one side. So that's why I said this takes a lot of progress. Process into the progress. Because <laughs> I'm reading Hopex. That's great progress. <laughs> no, you in there he is talking but he is not moving his left side yet oh honey but he's talking yay yay is he eating well i've tried this one on black paper and it looks fantastic it looks fantastic okay I have my wet towel. I have a bumpy surface, which I shouldn't have here. I'll pour a little paint into my cup. And cross your fingers, people. Oh, gosh. Don't make me get tense. This is going to be kind of, I'm going to have to do it on my side because I don't think I can stand up for this. But as long as this, oh, see, ooh, watch your drips. Watch your drips. Whoa. Okay, I think I was holding my breath for that. And while it's still wet, you really want to make it a little flatten her out. It will help dry it out a little bit quicker. Oh, yeah, I learned a lot of mistakes doing dads. <laughs> he likes meatloaf, huh? Sweet. Feed him lots of meatloaf. 
and it won't hurt him a bit. Put some veggies in it, some little chunks of cheese. I like melted cheese in mine. Yep. Now, are you going to do the same design with the same colors? Not yeah. Entitled? Okay. Yes, they're going to be, all these are going to be done all over the whole thing. Okay. Same, yeah, right. You got it. Now, see, I didn't even do that very round. But one thing about using a heat gun, it, it may dry the top surface, but the middle of it's still going to be wet. So acrylic paint, to me, should dry on its own. If you're flat brushing or something like that, that's fine. Yeah. So, uh, he has to have it chopped. Well, okay, that's cool, but at least he likes it and he's eating. That's good. You take and does he like, you know, like beets or stuff like that? You could put it in a grinder and have like applesauce beets. I ground a lot of stuff for herb. You name it, whatever I wanted to cook for dinner, it was ground up. That sounds good. Yeah, well, you know what? That pickled beets ground up was pretty good. Yeah, don't like it too pickery. Add a little bit of applesauce to it, I guess. That sounds like a good plan. Well, me, I love mashed potatoes. They're one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. You can put a lot of stuff in there. I buy. I even buy the instant potatoes. Yeah, me too. I do yeah. both ways. Yeah, they're good. Yep. I use the instant potatoes too. Like if I'm making um something that I want to thicken up a little bit, like if I'm making a vegetable stew or something, I put some of them in at the end just to maybe thicken it up a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I use them for a lot of things. They're fun. Yeah, it makes a filler. Makes a good filler. Yep. And I'll give you all a little treat too, or a treat. I mean, a tip. There's somebody up north had taught me. If you've got like a big family and you're gonna do a taco night, take like your one pound of meat and take like I don't know a half a pound or like three or four potatoes, maybe three, chop them up really fine, cook them up, mash them in with your meat, and you mm -hmm. get twice as much, and it fills them up. Yep. Tip of the day. We'll, we'll tip that one again some other day. Mm -hmm. Again, because that's a very good tip. No, it's a great tip. And then I also have one that you save the potato water that you cooked your potatoes in, put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. And any time you make a soup, you throw that water in it. Oh. Yeah, we used to. We just like, throw your stuff into that water. Just, I mean, you're probably going to have to add more water, but, you know, just yeah. put it in the rest of it. Right. That's a good tip. And you could probably freeze that. Yeah, probably, maybe, yeah. Hmm. You know what I've been doing recently, which I haven't ever done before, but I got sick and tired of it rotting before I used it. I use the uh, Italian parsley or flat leaf parsley in a lot of stuff. So now what I do is when I buy a big bunch, I wash it, I chop it really fine, put it in a plastic bag and put it in the freezer. And that way, anytime I need chopped parsley, all I have to do is go in the freezer, take out, you know, whatever I need and throw it into the pot. That way I don't have to deal with parsley always dying before I get to use it. Yeah. I buy that dehydrated flakes. And the only thing I use them is just a little bit of color into my chicken soup. Mm-hmm. Yep. But, hey, they rehydrate. You know, they rehydrate. They certainly do. Hold on. Nope. Head off the table. More. I'm mute. And then we let that one dry a little bit. See, I told you, it's going to take a little while. But I want to get at least the dots, and I want to get a round or maybe two rounds. Littler dots will dry quicker. but And then we're going to leave the egg alone for a day. 
let it totally, totally dry. Oops, I lost my chat. Oy, okay. There we go. Okay. So, he eats corn like how I puree the corn. I am going to start eating it that way. Oh, cool. Great corn, yeah. Oatmeal to it, that's what Taco Bell does. Adds oatmeal to theirs, really? Do they? Potato water for gravy, hold back. Yep. It's nice. Anybody working on anything? Oh, your your leaves look really pretty. Yeah, that's step one. I have this silicone mat that I bought and I cut it down and I um, put it on a piece of glass I had and I taped it all around. So all of a sudden I was leaning on it the other day and it had cracked. So I cracked, <laughs> I cracked the, gra the glass underneath. But because it's all taped, nothing has moved. So I'm just going to ignore it for a little bit. Uh, I could turn it over and just tape up the glass because it's not really going anywhere, but Yeah, it's like like you just made yourself one heck of a mess. I'd have used a piece of paper under it and threw the paper away. That's true, but like they don't they, they don't stick to this. Oh, okay, I got you. You know, so that's okay. Now are them real leaves, fake leaves? No, these are fake fern like fake leaves on a fern type thing. Okay. Uh, fabric, and I just cut off all the little bits of the fern to use this as um, some things. I, I didn't show it to you. I didn't get to show. Oh, somebody took a message. Uh, this is the one that's going to get the crown put on her head. Hi, Joanne. Hi, honey. Hi, Joanne. Happy birthday for yesterday. Yeah, happy belated birthday. But we all got her. So this is the one that's going to get the crown putting on her head. Oh, my God. She's cute. Which I did a lot. Like I said, I did a couple of years ago. So you can see the leaves here. These are the same leaves that I cut up to go around her waist. Okay. And then here's the gray mouse that you made me do to keep busy. <laughs> 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 oh look at him oh he's a handsome devil okay now explain what you use for his vest piece and stuff okay it's it's a she though sweetie wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Got a skirt. there we go Let me get up. okay this is just um tool silvery sparkly tool and this is sort of the same thing, only with the reds and silver. I've used this before on different okay. things. And then this is this beautiful gray fabric that I bought. It's a, a, raw, lin, a raw linen. Yeah, it's a raw linen um, that I had made something else with, but I had leftover pieces. And then this darker gray, it was just like a little pouch that you would put like a keychain or jewelry in, but it, the grays match because sometimes grays are a real pain in the neck to match. So I just cut it up and made it into a vest in the front and the back. And then I put some of this sparkly tool over it, this one. Why does my camera keep going in and out? Well, whatever, we're not gonna get into that. And then I just trimmed it around and then put all these old like bracelets and jewelry that I had that people would give, you know, my other people gave to me that I really didn't want. I mean, not that I didn't want, but I didn't like, I just wanted to use it to get rid of it. You know, you know what I mean, Martha, I don't. So I just started yeah. attaching all of it to here just so that she seemed like she was old and had a lot of things hanging from her. And I still have to put her whiskers on. And I well, I'm sorry I called her a him because it looked like a him. It does? The chest piece. 
Yeah, I thought it's so. It's like you didn't give her no boobies. Well, I don't usually because I don't know where mouse boobies are. So oh, that's true. They're on their belly anyway. And then it's um so cute. Then I'm going then what I'm gonna do with these is like put them underneath put them underneath here and maybe go around. I don't know. We'll see how it looks if I get them done the way I want them. Just to give her like the same type of treatment that I did on this one. Okay. Oh yeah. So, and then that'll mean I got rid of all of these things, which I'm very happy about. So is it like mama crowning the daughter? Yeah. I, and then I, then I just have to do some more jewelry for her. Maybe, I don't know, bracelets and earrings and then make the crown and then I'm done. Okay. And maybe, okay. I don't know, more skirt. I don't know. We'll see. How cute. But we're almost, we're like 90% there, which is always... Always nice when you when you get to the point. And this one, oh, I also have to do her toenails and and uh, for her feet and stuff like I did on this one uh, here. Oh, look at them toenails! So, yeah, this is pretty much how they stand. So this one, the the one in my right, you know, the white one, a whitish one, is shorter. And that's it. So then I get these, which what this was like another one of those projects I started. And because I thought this one should be a fairy, a, a normal person fairy, I just put it on the back burner. And then, like I said, you, you know, you said, why don't you do something? So I made the gray mouse. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to use her and make it a mouse and a mouse and not a fairy. And, uh, and, uh, Great. very good. Very so. good. Oh my God. Too cute. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, I'm not doing six to eight of them, Christine. <laughs> Forget that. I don't know how to do cleavage for six or eight of them. So that's what we're up against. Well, them are just darling, darling, darling. So, yeah, I think I just might put this glitter, which is pretty much the same color as this. And just put it all over those leaves and just make them very glittery. Thank you, Teresa. And if it doesn't work, then you know what? I toss them all out and don't use them. There we go. Make life easy. Thank you, Christine. Well, I'm going to get going in a couple of seconds, but I'm going to come back because you're going to be here almost all night, right? I'm going to be here for a while. Yep. I'm not okay. getting out of here no time soon. Thank you, Joanne. All right. So I'm going to come back. I'll, I, I, well, I hope to, and I'll see you later then. All right, Martha? Okay, Bye, time, honey. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, now if you lovely ladies would like to do that phone call back, we can do that. Or would you rather just... Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I am doing, this is an ostrich egg, and we're going to do a mandala on it. It's going to take a very long process. We're trying to get the main dots going right at the moment. And we got to let it sit and level out and dry up just a little bit before we can rotate it. Um, what have you all been up to? I'm trying to catch up on all the chat. First birthday card for the six babies born in the family last year. <laughs> six babies in one year. Wow, Kelly. Ah, uh, they ought to be fun to make for a little baby. Oh yeah, be one year old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, plus they're on, plus they're on the belly. Hold back. 
I did. I'm sorry, but I did. I thought that was a, a dude, a prince. <laughs> it must have been the crown that got me off. Hi, Rachel. Come on in, sweetie. Oh, see? And I got my finger in it. Oh, man. That's all right. Got most of it up. Paint over it. Hi, right, Tanya! Come on in, everybody. I'm doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of a lot of chit chat. A lot of chit chat. Because I really want to get this dog egg done and I want to get it hung up on my little kitty hook. Well, it ain't so little, it stands about two feet tall. Okay. Hey, I don't want to. Oh, this takes forever to dry, people. I don't want it to slide to one side. I got my wreath done. Yay, yay, yay. I actually should be writing down stuff, but no, no, we don't want to do that. Too much work. Okay, so I think I'm going to do one more and then we're going to just set it aside so we can get some of the other stuff going. There might be somebody out there that paints eggs and can do it all in one sitting, but no, I don't like making, cleaning up the messes I have made. Okay. Let that sit there for a few minutes and then we'll put it up. And then we're going to work on, and look at here, Holly Mae got her own little toy box in here. <laughs> I about died. Uh, take everything off of it, move everything. So this is the one we're going to do. We're going to do it like that other one. So all these got to be painted white on the front. I'm not going to paint the sides or anything. Oh, what's in there? Oh, what hurts? All my wood pieces in here, maybe. Nope, I lied. We got beaded things. Uh, prime these babies up. And I don't really like using the gesso leaves. Too many streaks. Oh, my tiny mold pieces. Forgot about them. All right. So this is also going to be purple pizzazz.
Yep. Oh, and look. The glue come undone. Oh, nice. Very nice, very nice. Let's try some super glue. No. Let's try some of this glue. AGG seems to work pretty good. Well, it'll be a little while before we can dry this. Somebody tear me off a piece of tape. Wait a minute. I think I can do it. Yeah. That's what we use our legs for, right? Okay. That's got to dry. Sugar foot. See, that ain't even glued on right. So, we let that sit and dry. Alright. So, we got all them painted. Let's put the lid back on. And that one I'm going to leave out of the container so I know which one I used. Put the pin back in the glue. Hi, Vic! Hi, Eddie! No, oh, you like this version? <laughs> All right, we're letting the egg dry, and then we're going to let it dry dry somewhere else. More tea. Okay, I know somebody's making cards. Who else is doing what else? What's up, Doc? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Okay. We're going to set it this way and move it. Because I know I will get my... See? It's not hard to get your fingers in stuff. That's why I say this one's going to take a long time. So this one goes on top of the tall dresser. I don't know if this is good paint or bad paint. I'd like to have a paint that white paint that just one coat and you got a good one. I need a paintbrush. Uh, soft Yeah, so this is pretty much, you know, hey, doing a lot of painting tonight. I'm bringing you folks with me. Oh, yeah, let's have a little bit extra. Clunkies because it's old. I should use my other paint. But this will suffice. We'll use it up and get it out of the room, right? Oh, yeah, lots of chunkies.
Okay, I'm tired of chunkies. Ah, quit. I'm putting napkins over. I'm not using no more of that. Let me find my other stuff. Um, da -dum -dum -dum, da -dum -dum -dum. Here's a big one right, right up here. Let's see how old this stuff is. <laughs> I've been butt up, head down in the garden most of the day. I feel like I still have my head between my legs. What is Martha making now? Joanne, I am going to paint these and I'm going to decoupage napkin over it to match that one right there. That right there. It's like I had it just neutral skin down there and it's like, well, if I put it up on the wall, might as well make it look like the other one, right? So we're doing this in between letting the eggs dry and yeah, we're just getting things done is what we're doing. We're getting things done. Let's see. I need, oh, and I brought cups in too. Where'd I put them? Uh, i use a cup. Thank you, Big John's. <laughs> And my little sauce for my steak in it. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah, not as chunky. Yay. Not as chunky. So that's what we're doing. I gotta have the white background. I really should have done it in a really light pink. But someday I'll change my mind, say I don't like it anymore, and change the whole darn thing again. So we're actually priming this to put the napkin on it. So who, who was that that called earlier? Was it Amy? Was it Teresa? Or was it Olivia? Or was it Dai Dai? Oh, let's see. Cool beans. Cool. Looks good, Martha. Okay, I went to the beauty shop after two and a half months. They officially opened today with street sauce. Wore a mask except when she waxed my chin. Oh, how good for you, Joanne. Oh, let's see what's going on over here. Well, you know what? Let's see. One or two or whatever can come in, I guess. We could do it this way, huh?
refresh still going around and around Oh my god, they won't do nothing. Okay, we'll get back to that later. Let me pull my chat back up. Oh my god. My internet goes down. We're bumming. It's went out twice today. No reason for Facebook to be so darn slow, though. Okay. <sighs> now we let that dry. Well, hello, Clint. How are you? Uh oh, frozen. You're back. Oh, great. It's probably Facebook doing it. Let me go see if I. It's still going round and round. Okay. Let's exit out of that. Let's exit out of that. I got to exit out of both these windows. Let's get rid of you for a minute. Let's get rid of you for a minute. Get rid of you. And bring you all back up again. Okay. Let's recopy that one. We'll take over here and we'll paste it. Hopefully it worked. Ladies, come on in. You can all be in the background. And there won't be no time delay. So, what did I paint at the top of them pink? Painted the top of them pink, and I think it was Diva Pink. Oh, that's wet. Don't touch them when they're wet. Oh, look it. I didn't even paint that one very well. Oh, Jesus. Come on, get back up there. Okay. Just take and touch up, make them a little bit whiter. So they won't be so noticeable.
is touching up these little areas right in here. And painting my finger. Clint, how many rosettes you got finished? How many you got done now? All right, I'm look better. You got three more done, so that means you've got nine done now. Is that what you're saying? How many do you have all together? Well, where'd you go, Kelly? <laughs> he has... I just stick my elbow in there. No, nope, elbow's clean. Okay, so um we got to find the napkin. The napkin. There it is right there. One left, but I have this piece left. I could, you know what, I could spruce it up and do this one different. Look at this one. This one's really cute. I could spice it up a little bit, couldn't I? I really like the other one. It says London 1878 on it. I don't know. Which one should I do? This one or this one? I really love this one. Look at I even ca Ugh. I don't know. I guess I, I don't know. People send me these stuffs and I can't make up my mind. They're really pretty roses, but nothing really purple. Oh, oh, hey, hey. That means each drawer would have to have a, that's too many. That wouldn't work for me. That's too many birds. Um, there's another one of them. London don't want none of them. So, i feeling, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's open one up and see what it looks like. That would end up being a bird almost on each one of them, too. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Hmm. I'm going to say no. No, I'll use them for something else. Oh, I'm dropping them all over on the floor. Oh, there's another one with a birdie nest. Oh, and I dropped them again. Oh, my God. Get them out of my sight. There we go. Yes, I'm going to do it with the other one. If I'm going to paint it like that one, I might as well make it look like that one. So we are going to use this. So I got to have my Mod Podge. There's my Mod Podge. I think we have enough coats on there to make it look good. So I'm going to pour the paint back in. And throw that away. Oh, crap. Chipped the paint off of it and it went flying towards my eyeball. All right, let these dry a little bit more. Well, Teresa, I left a link. Why don't you come in? I had that happen when I did my mom Mother Day gift. You got eight done so far. Well, good job. Twelve more to make. Okay, fine. I got mine done today. And I did show it a little while ago. Okay, so we got Mod Podge. Clean out my brush. So everybody's weekend went pretty good then, huh? I'm reading chat and it's not moving. Your PC hates you. Why, Olivia? Hi, Shelly. Go on in, sweetie. I like that big, happy smile face. Yours was good, huh, Clint? Okay, fine. What did you have for your big uh, Memorial Day picnic? It says my mic is not connected. Uh roll, George. Well, click your little... In there, down somewhere in there is your mic. Click that. It might be because... You've got it on mute, right? 
The mic is not connected. How can it not be connected when you had it connected earlier? Ooh, barbecued ribs. Oh, I'm so jelly, Clint. I like barbecued ribs. That's one of my favorite barbecues is ribs. You not changed it from earlier. <laughs> it just hates me. Well, why don't you like jump out of your whole thing and come back into the whole thing? Because I know sometimes like after we're in a chat and being on a live or whatever and I want to play games or something, it's still slow. I have to jump out of all Facebook, come back in. Yeah. Done and closed down. Uh, hmm. Go to your settings. Go to your settings and see if you can get your mic. I don't know. Some things are so confusing. All right. Let's see what we got here. Something is not right. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. There we go. Okay, so. Um, which way does it go? Looks like this way. Well, look at one big. Oh, I get, so I get that one in a corner. And get that one right there. Oh, wait, let's go over here. Okay, that looks like a plan. So, Mudge Budge, fun to play with. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. See? That would have been wrong. So, so wrong. I had it upside down. show up very good. <laughs> Yay. Now we just cover it. All 
right, there's one down. Number two. Okay, now this one went. No, it did go that way. So I want that. Oh, man. I want that one purple flower in there. We'll leave open space. Who cares? Come on. Could one of the ladies send a new invite? If this didn't work, I give up. What kind of invite you want? I sent an invite in whatever group that was, whatever. I don't know why we have... So, I can't use the rest of that for anything, but I think I will pull, try to pull off a little piece to put there. Okay, now what kind of piece can I put there? I need a bottom of a purple flower. How about if we fill in... Oh. I need something like with words. I can find something with some words. Oh, let's try this. <gasps> I ripped it. For being one ply, it's pretty strong. <laughs> Let's take some of that off. Cut it off. What the heck? We can only see these two bottom boxes. Oh, I am so sorry. So sorry. Okay, that one I think is done. There's two. I don't think we can get... Oh, look at that. We can get one on there. Oh, yay. Yay.
over the hill. Let's see if we can just get this piece out of there. Cut it this way. A lot easier. There we go. And voila, we got mess on my fingers. All patchwork quilt and gluing. Nobody wants to come in with me, hey? That Teresa Lily could. Go ahead and send me a new invite. This don't work. I give up. Where die die Teresa and Amy is sitting, I think. I don't know where they're sitting. I have no idea. Okay. You gotta top this up. Take that piece off. Oh no, where did you come from? This is not good. Where did it come from? Uh, must have been in that circle. Don't need it. All right. I hope paint goes over this stuff pretty good because I gotta paint the top of the lid. Alright, there's another one done. And what can we get out of here? Not a whole oh wait. Nope. I th think this napkin is done, people. I'm not going to keep the scrap, so there we go. On to the new one, which we got to tear apart, I think. I think. Oh, I guess it was only a half a piece. Oh, and I got three left to do. All right, which way do you go? You're reading that way. Okay, it's all that way. Oh, we get a hummingbird. We get to have a hummingbird. have a little bit more and put the whole thing in there
Seemed a lot easier to do it this way, hey. Just getting things done. That's what we're doing. Another one done, another one done, another one box of dust. Oh, hi, Karen! Just couldn't make during the live. I hope you're well. It's all right, Karen. Oh, hey, let's see what we got here. Okay, now I don't, I don't have to mute, do I? <laughs> Hello, hello. I don't know. Does this work with hello? Okay, what? <coughs> Not supposed to be in here. I don't know what's going on. I'm still in the call. I'm the only one there, so I guess I will opt out. Okay, whatever, whatever you're doing, I have no idea. All right, so, oh, more flowers. I wish I wouldn't have cut the little part out. I'd rather head to flowers. But we're going to put it right up even to there, I think. I like it. Just like that. And we're going to flip it over this time. Oops. Make sure you hold your knife in the correct position. And you're doing a very good job of it. So I should have the cutting board underneath it. This is really kind of an awkward blade to use in the first place. But I do have it on my wish list on Amazon. So I'm going to get me a whole bunch of new blades. I was working with wood products. You know, like making Santa stuff. You got to have that small little tipped blade. Fine point. Oops. Come on, see this one is just it's probably getting dull. All right. There we go. Getting things done. I do have a couple other little projects I gotta finish up. 
and get all these other little projects done. I think I'm going to start on that photo album, that mini album. The forest one. All right, that one's done. One more to go. Which one am I going to use? I think we should go with, oh, we can go with that one. Yeah, that's what we'll go with. Dirty red bandana. Hi, Sandra. I thought I did that one nice and clean. I gotta go. Oh, scared me. Can you guys hear that clicking? Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. 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 Good. You're all live with Martha. <laughs> right? We're all live with Martha. No, I'm not cross-stitching. I am trying to get some projects done that needed to be done. Uh, and we're also working on the ostrich egg. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I think I've got... Maybe Teresa, Olivia, Di Di, Ruby, Mary. All in that little phone call. Are we getting any feedback in the chat? I've just muted mine. Well, no, I don't know. I don't have mine muted. I, I don't know. I'm used to going to Ruby's and <laughs> muting stuff. <laughs> All right, there's the last one done. Then we're going to let that dry. Oh, God, I need another plug. Ah, right there. Hi, baby girl. Yay, them are done. Okay. Now we'll check on our egg. We'll see how our egg is doing. Let me put my napkin back because there's still more to use on that one. Put the Mod Podge up. And we are going to empty this. And we're going to flip her over. Um, 
Yeah. Um. Uh, um. Break. Let me break. I'm gonna sit here and talk to you people for a few good minutes. Dang, I leave for a few and you don't have the boxes done. <laughs> I'm quick, Vic. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. So I'll bring the egg down. Now I gotta figure out what color to do. There's my boo boo, so let's take care of the boo boo first. Now we can start over again. So I gotta. Hello, what? Huh? I'm saying hello to Tanya and Shelly because they said hello to me. All righty, do that, die die. Um, I need a brush. What kind of brush do I want? I want this one. I think that's the one I want. There is this one. Or should I use this one? That one. This one I want to use. Glasses, put me glasses on. There. All right, let that dry. So how do I want to go about the other circles? Let me count the ways. Oh boy. Put the razor up over there so I don't cut myself with it. What color do I want to do now? Now if I do my my neon greens. Oh no way, come back here. Dry, dry, dry. That is such a pretty color. What color was that? That was the petunia purple. Um, what else do I want? Okay, I've also got copper, and I've also got gold. Um, if I put the glitter in the middle, I don't want shiny next to it, so we're going to put them back for a minute. And I think we ought to do a Bahama Mama Blue. Yeah, let's go with it. You know how much I like my Bahama Mama. Um, Vic, my dad had ostriches, and he's the one that used to blow them out. And, um... All the times I've been down there, I never got to eat a egg. I really wanted to eat an ostrich egg, and I never got to try one yet. But things got a little too hard, and I told him, I said, Dad, you, you don't need to have them ostriches anymore. So, okay, so let's do somewhat kind of little dots. Let's go with the yellow one. Which one's smaller? Glasses are on my head. No, they're not. They're right here. Now look past Dale. So this one is uh, the bigger one. Okay, we'll do this one. So we're going to... Love this box. Each little dot, always do your north, south, east, west first. And then we're going to put, yeah, we're going to put two. Now follow our little guidelines. <laughs> Hopefully they're nice and straight. But once you start dotting, you kind of get your space in. All right. 
flip her over. And we'll work from the bottom side. That way, if they're upside down, they see these are not right. These are not right. Them ones were not right. Okay, I don't have, yes, there's another napkin. So we let that dry for a little second. I'm back. Oh, okay, June. Well, that was quick, honey. Hey, am I here? Yep. Yeah, you're here. Great. Hi, everybody. Yeah, it was only we only watched one episode of the boy, the boys. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay. Well, did he like it? Yeah, he did. We're gonna, you know, watch an episode every night. Okay. Cool. So I'll be watching that and Downton Abbey. It's like the two farthest extremes of shows you could ever possibly get to. I turned that um, um, down to Nabby on the other day, but it was like halfway through that show, and it's like, I guess I'll have to go on demand and go start from the beginning of that show. But yeah. everybody says it good, so I guess I should try to watch it. Uh, do you have Amazon Prime? No, actually, I think I got it on demand, I think. Oh, good, because I have it on Amazon Prime. And there's videos you can watch um, just because I, I just took started to take advantage of it this year because I've been a Prime member for a couple of years because I get a lot of things off Amazon. I don't know if it's cost effective or not. I never try to figure it out. But, um, yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, Shelly, Olivia, Sandra. Hey, Vic, Tanya. Hi, guys. So, oh, you got dots around the center dot already. So I have this. I did one side and then this side. So I'm gonna let this dry for a minute, and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the other sides. Perfect. And I done got uh, all my little boxes all decoupaged and painted and all that. Oh my goodness. Yep. You got a lot done. It was an I'm hour. There. I'll, I'll have two two projects done tonight, hopefully. And then maybe my brain will rest and say, no, you don't need no more projects at the moment. You know, two's enough. Two's enough. I got, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> four. Not done. But we're good now. Oh, that was not straight at all, was it? No, these lines are totally, totally wrong, except for that one. That one. And why am I glad? Have my there we go. Glasses on face, you can see better. I'm gonna try something. Get some. We also have some other girls in here if they haven't disappeared yet. Some other people are in, it, are in here. In chat. Well, not in chat. They're they're on Facebook chat. Oh. I think we have Mary. Mary always has that funny little background sound. Um. Nobody else is talking. So. Hey. So is this also on Facebook? Yeah, they're they're actually talking with us. Oh. I can't if hear anybody. Talk, if they'd say something. Yeah, I can't hear anybody. So. Let's, oh, who was that? Was that Teresa I heard? No, that was Teresa. Hi, Kim. Yeah, Hi. Mary, Ruby, and Teresa. Hey, everybody. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. Hello. Martha, you're going to have to translate because I can't hear them that well. 
Well, neither can I. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel so bad. I just act like I know what they're saying. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. We're going. We're doing that way. All right. We're right back. See what I'm saying about putting your fingers around these things? Make sure. I've even turned them upside down and still got stuff on them. Yes, Holly, I see you, I hear you. What, baby girl? Yeah, what, you want your five minutes appearance on uh, national YouTube? Huh? Hey, I don't come bug you when you're napping. Don't come bug me when I'm crafting. Yeah, that should be the new rule. Well, I'll start coming in there and bugging you when you're damping. Okay. We did that. We're going to let it sit. Oh, I hate this. So far, so good. Except I wished that had a grip on it. Where can I put it? <laughs> That's another story, huh? Okay. What yeah, is, what is a grip. Oh, I hope I didn't touch nothing. There we go. What right. help if I have to dry? Off to dry it went. Oh. Y'all hear that kitty cat crying? I gave you treats a little while ago. You're not getting no more. No, 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 Missy. No, 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 no. You better get out of the way before I run your tail over. Let's put my tools back where they belong. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now what? Oh, so now you're going back to the drawer? The box? Say what? So you're done with you now you're switching, right? Project? I've been switching back and forth, yes. Okay. I gotta let that Mod Podge dry. Glued the box back together. So I'm letting that dry. I got tape on that holding it together. Um what other project? I don't know. It's like I said, that egg's going to take a while. At least I got four sides on it this time. Yay. Um, I really can't think. Oh, look at the pretty glitter. Yeah. Look at the pretty glitter. We're glittering up leaves. Mosh Pod should hold it, right? Um, yeah. I can always put Mosh Pod on top of it if it doesn't, because I usually like to encase my Mosh Pod with, um, I mean, encase my glitter with, uh, you know, so it doesn't come off projects, because that's the worst when you when you know like people used to send me those glitter cards and then you open up the cards and then you have glitter all over the place. I absolutely hate that. So now what I just do is I'll have you ever tried putting Mod Podge on glitter? Does it make it duller? Yeah, it does a little bit, but I'll I'll settle for that. Yeah, it'll stay all connected together, yeah. Yeah, I'll settle for a little. Dream hard, sweetie. Oh, okay. I see ya. I see ya. Hey, Teresa. There's Hello, Miss June. Hello, Miss Martha. 
Hey, hey, hey. What's Can you up? hear me better now? Huh? Yes. Okay, great. Much, much and that better. chat, it, it was so confusing. I couldn't do that. Yeah. I know it works. Yeah, it's sometimes it is. Yeah. Wow, I like it better this way. Hello, everyone. Yay, welcome back. Hold back. Hold back. back. Oh, good. Hey, Christine. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do it this way, I think. I got to say, you can get rid of Elvis. Well, I'm trying to get it. Uh, you see this layout? It's unique. Share screen. That is not what I want. Oh, boy. Don't give me much options, does it? Well, I want it but on June right now, so. Oh. We're going to watch June because my stuff's still drying. That's why I said it might be a long stream. <laughs> <laughs> my stuff is drying. You're going to need backup to the backups. So, Teresa, how are you doing on your project? Um, well, I know somebody's watching, so I can't say much about it. Well, you don't have to. I'm just saying, how's it going? Uh, getting there. It's getting there. I'm getting okay. close. Cool. 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 I have also been um, working on jewelry. I made my very first ever peyote um, bracelet and it took me an hour and a half to get the first three rows right I don't know what a peyote bracelet is I thought you were gonna I, I know what peyote well, you know what is. I could actually go get it and show you all but I still got to finish Chicago so on that note we're gonna watch June I'm gonna go get me some more drink and I will go get the bracelet, yes, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, Holly, I hear you. We're gonna watch June be very boring and put glitter on leaves. Okay. <laughs> These, this is the exciting part of my projects. Everything takes an eternity to do. I, I did like your your mice. They were Thank they you. were cute as could be. Thank you. So what are you working on now? Well, um, this is going to be like a little skirt to go on the uh, gray mouse that uh, I made. Did you, you saw the gray mouse, right? Yeah, it was going to be a fairy. Yeah, she's going to, and she's, it's going to go under her, um, whatever you call it, her vest, like, just so that she matches the person that she's putting the... Uh, the crown on i just want to see how it's going to look and if it doesn't look good that's fine i don't care this is not something i spent you know this is not something i spent a lot of money on so and i've this is all craft supplies i have well you do wonderful work I, I, I love the the is it a lady in the bathtub? Oh, the in the tub? Yeah, that's the. After I finish this, I'm gonna because my daughter is home, and um, I got a new computer. So we had she figured out how to take it off the old computer and put it on this computer. All the videos I did. So now I just have to do a little bit more on the bathtub and then we're going to take pictures and we're going to put pictures on the videos and I do an introduction and then that thing is ready to go. Well, that sounds cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of videos um, because there's a lot of steps to it. And, um, you know, I try to break it down. Like what I did with the bubbles, what I did with the bathtub, what I did with the, the how to make the castle and all of that stuff. So it's all broken down into like eight groups of videos, but they're really long because well, you know how long, to, you know, anything to do with crafts usually takes a long time. Well, yeah. for me it does anyway, with all the steps and the details. So, And you do that felting. Yeah, the needle felting, yeah. Yes. 
she showed us her or her mouse. Well, you've seen her mice, right? That she showed a little while ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, them are cute. She is. She ought to just be not named the Mouse Queen or something. I like how she starts off and she'll do like the shape of where their legs going to be and how they're going to bend, and then. Right. You got to start from the innards out. Yeah, well, once you put the polymer clay on it, even though, you know, I've put, like, put the mice because I put their nose on, and that's polymer clay. After I finish, you can put the wool in the oven. That's It's not a problem because it's a natural fiber, and you're only, uh, what do you do, polymer clay, at 280 degrees? Mm -hmm. So you can put the wool in, and it doesn't... Um, it doesn't melt or anything. I mean, there's so many things you can put in the oven that I've learned. Paper, wood, you know, it's no. there's a lot of stuff. Glass. Pardon me? I said you can put glass in there too. Yep, absolutely. Glass. Anything but plastic, really. Well, no, you can put some plastic and it's called shrinky dink. There well, you go. So if you want a shrinky dink. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we call them. <laughs> oh, did you get your bracelet, Martha? You, I mean, here I am. I'm just glittering leaves. I know, know, but I was watching you too. So there you go. I want to see. Oh my gosh! Okay. Look at that. Wow. Oh wow! I didn't see you finish that one. That is beautiful. I got the one end done. I got to finish the other toggle. I really love the beaded toggles. They work very, very well. Um, this, <laughs> ooh, silver is such a hard color to look at and with them 15 O's. But, yes, this is the first one I've ever finished. And I was going to put it up for sale, but I broke two beads in it. Oh. Which is a very bad bummer. Um, I was doing the diagonal with a bigger needle, and it, they broke. The, there's one broke right there and one right there. Oh, shucks. And see, there's a blue missing. <laughs> I wouldn't have known, though. Yeah, I can, I can see it. But, yeah, you really can't tell. But it's like my first one. It's like so pretty. It's so I flat. Just, it's gorgeous. I picked out what colors I had a whole full bottle of Delica beads. And I went with that. So You're getting a lot of compliments in the chat, Martha. Well, thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and Sandra's so proud of me. Yay. Yay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so this was very interesting i've been doing some other beading which was supposed to be a bracelet and by the time i got it to where i was going to end it it kind of overlaps so there's going to be a i'm waiting on beads i'm going to make a whole set it's going to be the choker bracelet and earrings wow what color then, uh black and white oh. And I forgot what other color gold. I like gold. No, I put musk muscat. Muscat, which is kind of a coppery gold. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's really I like that color. So yeah. And until I found out I didn't have enough beads to finish anything. It's like, oh, so I had to do some ordering. So I'm waiting on materials to come in to finish that stuff. I had to order new crystals, three and four millimeters. <laughs> but the choker is going to be badass. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be badass. <laughs> By the time I get through with it anyway. So, yes, yeah, so that's what I've been working on. Um, the four days I spent in this room cleaning really drenched me out. And all I want to do is sit and bead. Looking at all the beads on the floor in there, thinking I really got to finish going through all my beads. So I have to kind of slack up on the beading and get some other work done. 
<laughs> so I want to make that little white cabinet right there very pretty. Are you going to paint it? No, I'm going to, no, I'm, I'm going to put like my, I'm going to make like the specialty box. That's going to be like my 15s, my 11s, my crystals, my two hold and three hold and all that. Now the other cabinet I got over here that's going to, I thought about getting another one of them, but it still won't have enough room. So my other plastic container, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build one. It'll be solid. I'll have a top on it even. And I'm going to take these drawers and slide it in there and get rid of the plastic container. Because I can make one. I mean, that one I made. Wait a minute. That one right there I made. That was 100 bucks. Wow. That was cheaper than buying that. So yeah. I make that little one. I still got some wood pieces. I might be able to, you know, 50 bucks, a little less for the wood. So I have figured out my little problem, and that's, I think, is what I'm going to do with it. Carpentering, too. And that's going to hold, that's going to hold my big bags, like my big bag of white, my big bag of black, um, my big bags, because I can only fit. Wait a minute. Let's go down here. I've got three bags in there. That is not going to hold everything I need to hold. So this is going to be my specialty cabinet, I guess. Olivia asked when you start the new project, can you record it so she can see how you you start the Pico? Uh, start the new project. Can you record it? Let's see, let's see how you start. Peyote. Peyote? Well, you know, oh boy. <laughs> Um, I had to sit and watch. Yeah, I watched two videos of it. Two different people. That way I can get a, you know. So, um, that is something I would just have to do. I don't know how to record, really. I mean, I probably could try. Eh, more fun to do it live. Eh. <laughs> but I can, we can make up a pattern and I'll show you how to follow a pattern because the first two rows screws you up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I took mine apart so many times. It's like, <laughs> but yeah, we could do it. We could do a live on that sometime. Um, because I wouldn't mind making a bigger, wider bracelet. They got some of them tiger patterns, them tiger eyes. Oh, I'd love to do one of them. That would be pretty. I've never seen a lion one yet, but the tigers, because they're white and black or whatever. Yeah. I watch all her beating, Sandra. I love her beating. And actually, I did go back into hers and check a few things out over hers, too. Yeah, it was her, her and uh, Potomac, I think I went to. I almost feel like I ought to just paint another canvas and do one. Oh, um. Maybe another oval one. That could be a good idea. You got to do another. Really get off the beaded path has great YouTube peyote. Yeah, she's the one I go to to do the toggles. I got that in my saved list now. I like the way she, we do toggles on hers. I mean, you know, once you learn a toggle, after a while you forget. <laughs> so you got to go back. <laughs> But I think I got it down. I got the round part. You got to have 40, 40 15s in the middle to start the little round part of it. All right. 
so let's see how our boxes are drying oh hey they're already dry so oh this is gonna be a, a live and learn thing I'm gonna try the diva pink I think that's what I used I think the other one I had it white up here and I used neon pink but I gotta see how much space we got yeah, there's space. Okay, we're going to try the Diva Pink on this one. We're going to try it. Maybe I can get it open. Nope, I'm not going to open it. Okay, Google Gun, I'm done with you. Get in your cage. There, get in the cage. Um, where is my player? Where, where have you gone? Why did you leave me here all alone? Don't, don't get me crazy. I'm trying to beat a 3D star. I have third of it done. Oh, so I seen um. How is her name? She made a five-point star, and she did it all like in red, white, and blue for the flag. I so want to make one of them, and then I'm going to put dangles on it, too. Bef back up. Before back up. You know who I'm talking about? No. It's a 3D star, but she's got, like, five points, I think. Oh, five-pointed 3D star? That I know. I'm sorry. Yes, that I know. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to make one of these? Cat yesterday with triangle earrings. I love the way she does her odd count peyote so easy. Odd count is pretty easy. I've learned the technique. I always use it on the bottom of the beads, though. And when you go down through that last one, just cut over this way. That's how I broke one bead. <laughs> ah. I'm so bummed I broke a bead. Okay. Let's paint. Ah, there we go. All right. Paintbrush. Do we want this paintbrush? Why not? Let's see if it works. Oh. It would have been so much better. You know, I just leave that alone because I'll just probably wear it off. We'll just put pink up here. Oh, I okay, there's that one. A little bit at a time. And we'll get it done. Yep, that's what we'll do. Just a little at a time. So what napkins did you decide on? The one with the hum the the one I did the other one with. Um Yep. Oh, I like that. Yeah, this is really pretty. I don't remember who sent it to me, but it's like, ooh, I gotta have a couple of them. So Martha, I was so glad the other day that you that you messaged me. I had just finished food shopping, and you know how how much I love food shopping. Uh -huh. And you know, I was sitting there, and I was just trying to sit down and read, and then all of a sudden, I get your your message. Where are you? I go, oh, no. I, I nearly jumped. It was like I couldn't get there fast enough. I ran down. Oh, no, they were. It was like, I'm sitting there, it's like, where in the hell is June? Because I know she wouldn't miss this for the world with I, all this pink going on. Well, I'm almost afraid to say anything about this, but I'm not really a big pink fan myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I'm going to get into, I mean, I like my favorite color when it comes to like pink tones is I prefer peach. You know? Yeah. 
I like the peachy pinks better than just pink. I hate baby pink. Hate, you know, like, ooh. And I like mauve, like the, the dusty pinks. But if I was going to do something, my favorite thing is if I just like an apricot pink. Is really, you know, the apricot, the peaches, that tones of, I yeah, know, yeah. the orangey are tones of pink. Yeah. So uh, some of you have been there, but Sunday, well, there was a bout between Disorganized Crafter and Olga. I'm using, I'm using green. Olga don't like green. Nikki really don't like pink. And that's what they had to work with was pink and green. And it was pretty cool. Everybody was just hooting and hollering. Oh my God, that was funny. I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. I thought they both did very well. Yeah. Nikki did really good. I, I'm, I put in there in chat, I says a little bit of purple around the edges. And yep. uh, she did too. And it, I thought it looked a little better. But uh, now they're gonna Olga, do Olga went a little on the dark side with hers. She could have, yeah. oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, see where that's all white? Now that part of it's going to really pop. Um, it was fun, though. It was really fun. Well, now they're going to have more of them, which I think is going to be real, you know, to do a color that you don't like to do. Everybody, that would be funny. Um, mine would be green. Mine would be gray. Gray? I love gray. Well, I don't really care for gray. Oh, I love gray. I, what would mine be? I don't know. Yellow. Well, I like gold, but I don't like yellow. So I like yellow. Okay. I don't. There I don't green. like green, but I have green and rust curtains. Yeah. See. <laughs> <laughs> June, I like black, purple, or gray. If I'm in pink, someone dress me. Yeah, I don't. I don't wear pink. You know, oh gosh, I'm really going to get in trouble for this one, but might as well say it. I'm not a big blue fan. I I don't do... Me neither. Uh, no, I like blue and the blue jeans. Yeah, that color blue, like the gray blues and stuff, I love them, but I am not a blue fan, like, you know, and royal blue. But I'm not blue. All right, so I'll move that, move that. Ah, I need my room. Go over there. I'll come bring this thing back Get up here so I don't knock you in the head. Side. Oh, look at all the tape I have on the side of the table. <laughs> Martin, can, can you move Elvis down so that it shows more of you in June? Uh, honey, I have tried that. That's about as good as it can get right there. There. You can see both of you. Well, it's probably going to move. It's on delay. Oh, yeah, I didn't click on it. Okay, I'm going to go to this one. No, okay. Oh, Shirley sent me the hummingbird napkins. Yes, thank you, Shirley. I'm so glad you said that. I don't see Shirley. Where's Shirley? 
Oh, she's in um, Facebook Messenger. Oh, okay. Okay, I got all that taken care of, I think. Video has ended, but yet join it. Okay. Let me get my chat back up, and we'd be good. Thank you, Miss Warren. Light blue purple. That's called periwinkle. <laughs> Bluish purple. Purplish blue is periwinkle. In different shades, of course. Why am I keep getting hung up on the start? I'll let, you know what? Let's just unplug it. And yes, that last time I went live, I put my feet up here and my feet hit the pillow and pulled the plug right out of the wall. That's why it <laughs> abrupt, abruptly it did. ended. <laughs> it did. That's why I'm saying I need some new plug wall, new plug things. Yeah. Uh. Okay, this is going to be, God, we could even do it at neon. No, we could do it at green. It don't have to be exactly the same, does it? How would a green look? Let's see. Um, <laughs> green would be probably kind of cool. Or do I want to do it purple? We have a vote for pink with yellow spots. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia. Olivia, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we got citrus green. This is my ooh parakeet. That's a cool color. I just wish the darn sticky things would work. How come they don't work? I guess that purple is so dark it might cover up the green. So let's try. I don't have enough of that. I do have enough of that. Oh, which one do I like better? Actually, I love my citrus green. So long, Parakeet. <laughs> oh, don't hide behind me. I'd probably roll over you. I'll paint the top of it. And if it don't, it should look pretty good, but Okay. Oh look at paint peel. Paint peel. Maybe. Oh look at that. Oh look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Some people get off on that. <laughs> Paint peel, but just imagine putting that on your mixed media canvas. There's your, yeah, what do they call that? That's your, uh, <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> Come on, Lily. I filled in for you today. <laughs> Texture. Texture. See, we knew the word. We knew the word. <laughs> We didn't know where you were going, but we <laughs> Holy crap. We were following you right over the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I got a condor to come pick me up when I go over. <laughs> Or a pterodactyl, I don't know, whichever way you want to go with it. I think the green might look really good. Well, it's probably going to take a good couple coats, too. Because I do like my greens. Teresa, are you a beater or a paper crafter or... Um, She's a talker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I laugh a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you can go with that. Okay. No, I do. I do paper. I used to do oil painting. 
Um, oh, oils. Love them. Yes, I love oil painting. Um, scrapbooking. I've done ancestry work. Um, what is I, that? I, I'm sorry. What is antrust? An I mean, you would look at ancestry. Yeah, and I would do the books for them. Ah. That's where you look up your relatives and find out where they all come from. And you would make a book for them? How nice. Yeah. Thank you. I know, where, I know where a lot of mine came from. They all came from Italy, hanging out there. No, I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> no, I don't know. Not with that New York accent. No. no. You know, my grandpa, my father, uh, my mother's father, because they were the ones that really came from Italy. My father uh, was born here, but his, you know, his um, grandparents were born in Italy. Um, he used to be one of those accordion players. Uh -huh. And he supposedly had a little monkey, like one of those little spider monkeys. Yeah. You know, and of course, when you ask your mother, you know, to tell you stories about it, all of a sudden she doesn't know anything. I don't I, I mean, what the heck? He's so he used to play the accordion with the monkey. But I guess that wasn't something they like to talk about. Who knows? I don't know. Um, I have no idea. You know, they had so many hangups. I can't even begin to, to tell you about what you could talk about. But we never really got to talk about that. I would have loved to know more about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know why they wouldn't want to talk about it. Oh, they had so many hang-ups. Because I love history. I, I love, I just love it all. I had a hunchback in my mother's side of the family, and they wouldn't talk about her either. But back then, they found so many things taboo. And yeah, they thought a, a hunchback was a witch or something like that. I don't know. I really don't know. But you know what? They were all... Crazy. Yeah, I mean, until, until my mother died, I never knew how old she was. She would never tell us her real age because she was a little bit older when she got married and had kids. And I guess back then it was embarrassing. So I never knew how old my mom was until she passed away because we had to get the birth certificate, you know, for the um, undertaker. Really? Yep. Yeah. Wow. My mother wow. was... I'm sorry. Uh, my mother was in the hospital, and uh, they had to do surgery on her. Well, all these years, she had told me she was born in 1945. Well, they needed, you know, her insurance and all that. So I got her driver's license out, and I go, Mama, <laughs> I go, you wasn't born in 45. It says 1943. She goes, oh, I forgot. <laughs> yep. They <laughs> like, played with their age. Yep. I mean, now I just go and tell everybody how old I am. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. I'll be, I'll be, I almost said I'll be 60. No, I'll be 58. 58? I'll be 63. Well, I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not saying shit. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> June, my mom was five years older than she thought. She could have had a bus pass earlier. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I'm loving this green. All right. Another coat on this one. Okay, I'm wait for that to dry a little bit. Yeah, I think my mom was about a year maybe a month or two older than my dad and that's probably why she never wanted to admit it because she was born in 1920 and he was born in 1921 okay but us looking at it now it doesn't it doesn't but i guess back then yeah back then there was a lot of things like i said i still don't know about my hunchback great aunt so all right, I'm going to watch my fingers. I'll be right back. Oh, good job.
Yeah, well, probably back then in the day, if you know, if you weren't younger than your husband. I don't know. Just weird things back in the day, you know. Mm -hmm. Never heard of cougaring, you know, just Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things uh, that was back then. You have to be careful what you say now because it it was okay then, and certain things aren't okay now. I'm just gonna mute for a second. All right, mute, mute, mute. Oh gosh, right over the glitter. <laughs> glitter in the phone. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no. All right. I am not painting the back of it, no way, no how, but now we let this sit and dry so we can put another coat. Lots of drying, lots of drying. Okay, now hold this this way. Um, Olivia, I'm eight years younger than Leroy. Okay, you're eight years younger than Leroy? Yeah, but I, I told you the funny story. Well, it wasn't that funny in the hospital, but um, you know the story. Yeah, okay, but, we'll just say I do. <laughs> I'm not going to tell everybody. Your novel. <laughs> it, no, I'm not telling everybody. No. Um, but he don't look his age. He don't look his age. Well, Herb, Herb was 13 years older than me. And I think that has a little bit of difficulty. Some people it don't bother, but I think 13 no. a little bit too old above. Because I haven't got up to that stage yet, you know, and I don't know. It's, it's kind of intimidating at times and stuff like that, but. I thought we were really good together. Anyway, let's change the subject. <laughs> Where was we even going with that? I well, I went good. Oh, me. I was. Uh, I'm eight years younger than Leroy. Well, I will tell you a story. I don't care if anybody knows. <laughs> this girl can write three hundred books in ten minutes. Yes, I can. <laughs> I said novels. Hell, oh, she's getting into fiction. Or what did I say the other day? <laughs> I don't remember. Somehow I could take a what a five word sentence and make a novel out of it, or so. I don't know. No, that's what you say. I say it's going to start getting into the sci-fi or, <laughs> or hell with the novel. She's making a movie. I don't remember. It was something funny though. Anyway, go ahead. Tell a story. Okay, I, um, when I went in there for my stint, um, you know, they come in, they sit at their little desk in the emergency room, and they want all your insurance information and all this. Well, now I have Snow White here, and Leroy, bless his heart, and I can't stand it, but he still has his blonde. And <laughs> I could kill that woman. Anyway, she... She was asking all this info about me, and Leroy was in the room, and then he stepped out, and then she goes, well, will your son be returning? I go, <laughs> I said, my son, do you want to cause me another heart attack? I go, that's not my son. <laughs> that's my husband. She picks up all her paperwork and just leaves the room. So Leroy comes back in. I said, you believe she thought you was my son? He walked them halls like a rooster. And I was <laughs> so, so mad at all. I'm like, get out of here. Yeah. Holbeck, 14 years older after nine months of marriage. So why did you leave Holbeck? I love what Olivia put. <laughs> what she what she do? TMI time. 
I know exactly what that means. It's like you don't have to tell us, just you know, TMI, man, TMI. Too much information. Well, they did think that he was my son. I mean, yeah, like uh, my girlfriend's husband, they divorced and then she died, and he helped me out after Herb died. I had things around here I needed done. It's like, come on, I need your height. And I mean, he's tall. He was tall. And everybody thought I, he was my son. Shit, he was like 10 years older than me. It's like, no. <laughs> no, I'm not my kid. It's like, ow. <laughs> and then yeah. he passed away, too. And it's like, man. <sighs> sad. Very freaking sad. And the uh, brother. Okay, what are we doing? Must I'm looking at the egg, thinking what color do I want to do now, and how do I want to do it? But I think we can do something with the eggs. Let's get this down here. And you're using acrylic paint, right? Yeah, I need something grippy on here. I should put like uh, double stick tape and put some material on it. Um, Christine says people think that I'm Russell's mom. Laugh out loud. Oh my goodness. And he's what, only a year older than you? Uh, I've seen her put it somewhere. Thirty-eight years older. Oh my god. Wow. I, I have seen an age difference. It she was taught my Leon, story. Leon married this girl. He was already in his 70s, and I think she was like, I'm going to say maybe 21. She went out and got pregnant. We, we still think that it wasn't Leon's. He didn't care. I wonder if they're still together. Russ is five years older. Sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. Yeah, if you get the right if you get the right young man, you can have a sugar boy. <laughs> no. no. Ooh. And he won't well, I was gonna say he won't die off as quick as the other ones. <laughs> Sugar boy. Uh huh. That'd be fun. That. Oh yeah. But, and Dada calls them toy boys. Boy toy. A boy beach toy. bunny. I call them beach bunnies. Depends on if they got a good day and no. Poor as a church mouse. They had two kids and married over twenty years. That's cool. That sometimes that the real love can come in all different forms, honey. We're all different ways. Hi, Barbara. She goes, oh, what? My, what did I walk in? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about boys and men. <laughs> and being their mothers. <laughs> But, no, we have been uh, working on the egg and working on my other little cubby thing here. And this is what we're going to um, prop it this way for you guys can see it. That's what we got so far. Wait a minute. There's a good picture right there. I don't know what to what to do yet. What what to what to what to do. Let's see what other colors do I want on there. Purple, pink. I even got some of this um, coral sunset. That's a pretty color. Um, so we've got the Bahama. Oh, the citrus green I used on the other thing. Yeah. Um, wonder if I should do like the rainbow flow. Purple, blue, green, pink. 
I even got what do I I pulled out the garnet metallic one. It really don't show up a whole too lot, but we can add some stuff to it. So what was this other color I had in here? Oh yeah. Sparks is the name of it. No, it's actually it's uh the Phoenix Feather, yeah. That shows off some gold. I love that. Uh, I blue. think I'm gonna go with the citrus green. Or should I do the peacock? Green. I think I'll do the peacock green. I love that blue. Huh? I love that blue. Stay. Yeah, that was the Bahama. Blue Bahama. I call it Bahama Mama. It was very pretty, and so is this cool blue, too. Very nice color. Well, we are going to go with Apple Barrel Parakeet number 20740E. They're talking about wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. They're still wondering what they walked into. <laughs> oh, God. Another one that won't come open. Watch that egg, sweetie. <laughs> yeah. From here, it looks like you're getting close. Oh, looks like maybe another paint peel. Nope. It don't want to peel. No, no paint on it. Ovel, Ovel. Okay, how do I want to do this? We are going to. There you go. I like that view. I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to go with the small end of the yellow one. I think that's what I'm going to do. Where's my glasses? Make sure I got checked up. All right. So. I'll do one on every one. These are going to be very tiny little dots. Put one in the middle. Put one there. One there. It's really weird how you can just make so many different designs with this stuff. Color combinations are freaking endless. Yeah, but the steady hand. Yeah, I gotta have one of them too. And patience. And actually, for doing such tiny dots, I put too much paint in here. So I have to watch how I dip it. I just sit here and hold my breath. <laughs> Well, let it out and blow this dry. <laughs> I 
got so much going on in school, I can't even begin to tell you. Really? Well, yeah. Jump on in there and tell us about it. Well, going from person-to-person -person instruction to just going to computer instruction is okay when you're at the college level. And because my daughter, you know, they, they seem to have gotten it together pretty easily because at that level, everybody has computers or should, I should say. But, oh, Barbara's here. Hi, Barbara. I'm sorry. I was on a phone call. But when you're getting down into the lower grades, I'm in the eighth grade, it's a little bit harder. Like today, we have what, what we call an A block, which is a place where the teachers are available. If you're having any problems in their subject, you can go in to the, you know, to their room. And when we were in school and you could talk to them and the teacher would give you help. Mm -hmm. And you could go from teacher to teacher to teacher. Now I work in self-contained. So there's between the two classrooms that are in the eighth grade, there's only about 11 kids in there. So we do our A block in one, now we're doing a video calling. Um, and they told us, the school told us that we had to do A blocks on the same days we would do A blocks in school and we had to be available. So all of us, there was five adults, the two teachers, the two classroom maids, um, one of the class, and then we had a one-on-one. -on -one, so she was there. So there's five adults. We had one, sh one student show up. <laughs> I was like, really? So there was five adults and one student, and that was it. But what's happening is the principals, because they have access to everything that we're doing, they were popping in, especially at the end, because you have to be there in front of your computer for about an hour and a half to see if anybody pops in and needs, you know, they could pop in at any time. So you had to stay there for an hour and a half. So we were there, but they're coming in at the last couple of minutes to see if we're still there. So uh, wow, we had the assistant principal pop in. And, you know, I, it looked, it was really hysterical because there was five adults and one student and the one student that was there didn't need any help. So, but we were just there. What the heck? For an hour and a half, we all sat in front of the computer, just look and say, you need help? No? Okay. Here we are. Yeah. So it's getting a little crazy because now some other, we, it was only the seventh and eighth grade, but now the sixth grade is also in our building. And they're doing it. They have to do it, too. But, of course, other teachers have much larger classrooms than we do. That's why the two teachers did it in one, because why separate it when you only have 11 kids? But they have, like, 25 kids. And this one lady I was just talking to, she has where she tells the kids the code to get into their Google Meet and something else that where the principals could see it. So I just was talking to her and I said, well, they're popping in and they're popping in again to make sure you're doing it. And if the teacher, if the principal doesn't know your code, maybe you should tell them because then they're going to think you're not doing it. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's... So, you know, and that's going to get us in trouble. So, oh, well, get her in trouble. For, and she's one of the ones that's been doing everything right along a lot more than a lot of other teachers. It's just crazy. You know, everything is just political nonsense. Wow. The parents are up in arms. We're not doing it. Teachers were told not to do this. And then they did it. Any, it's just been, it's just been a mess because we weren't ready for it. You know, we weren't ready for this computer learning. A lot of our kids didn't even have computers. Right. So, you know, some people don't even have Wi-Fi. I mean, I, I don't know how they're doing it, but, you know, some yeah. people are poor or, or, you know, but it seems like everybody has an iPhone, but all of a sudden nobody has Wi-Fi. I, I don't get that either, but whatever. We're just going to go with it. It's just a mess. But whatever. That was what we were discussing that I told her today when I was sitting in front of the terminal with the four other adults from the class that the principal did pop in and we looked, you know, looked idiotic because there was five of us with one kid who didn't need help, but we were there until the end. Barbara asked, does it count against the kids if they didn't show up? Um, well, 
A lot of my kids aren't, a lot of the kids that I work with, they're not mine, thank goodness. They don't do the work. They're not doing the work. So if that's going to count. It doesn't count if they don't show up, but they're not doing the work. And one of the things of us being there was it was sort of because, all right, the, um, what you call it, the head, the superintendent said, you know, that he wanted us to do this and he gave us our instructions. And he said that he's been hearing about parents saying that their children are, don't have any like structure that they're going to bed late and waking up late. And like, and our, my, response, their problem. I know, my response is why are they telling the superintendent of the school that their kids, I mean, what do the parents want us to do? Go and wake the kids up and put them to sleep? I mean, really, come on, there's a limit. So th what we were doing was quote unquote, providing structure. So while we were there, since the homework is really very easy, we would be there in case they had any problems or, you know, some people have a little trouble reading. So if they needed us to, we would read them whatever they needed to read and stuff. Um, and so if they were there for at least an hour and a half, and we're going to have another one on Thursday, so that's three hours, they would get all their work done. And so we were sort of being like their quote unquote structure that they needed. No, structure is at home, honey. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I know. But I know what you're saying. Yeah. You're you know, being, um, oh, what do they call it? Surrogate. So. No, it's, you know, where you have somebody, uh, oh, I almost had it, where you have somebody help you with your problems you're having with. Right, we're like, to, we're helping them. A tutor, a tutor, yeah. yeah a tutor. A tutor. But that's what A Block always, well, we call it A Block. Um, that's what this like study group, whatever you want to call it, that's what it always is. Every other day we would have it in school and the kids were allowed to do their homework or study for tests. Or if they had any problems in any of the subjects, they could go to their teacher, they would get a pass and they would go to the teacher they were having problems with. And the teacher was there and they would help them. So now we're just doing it virtually, but basically it's, sort of like okay we're here you're here do your homework while we are here and that way if you have it you know right but, but they're not showing up so there's not much we can do about them not showing up we were there that's you know we were all there are you i just can't believe that people were complaining that their kids wouldn't get up and go to bed that is just that is downright oh my god well that's, yeah. that's what i'm stuck on right there yeah no the, kidding the superintendent was getting complaints that their children did not have any they were going to bed late and not getting up you know during the day and i and i don't know why he said that to us because it was in an email and i was like well what in goodness gracious does he want us to do about that that is just stupid I mean, does he want, you know, how is that our, how is that our responsibility? I know that there's no nobody's been going to school because of the lockdown. Yes. So how is that, how is that our, that we have to, yeah, that we have, that we have to parent children now? Exactly. I got my two. My two are doing fine. My two are doing what Okay, now I forgot, June. Do you work with mentally... Handicapped kids or? Yes. Okay. That is the parents' fault. Uh-huh. It's not like them kids are going to school and taking naps. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, Sandra, you're right. That is just, they should fall on the parents to make sure their kids are showing up. Just because it's a virtual, it's not an excuse. That's right. Uh -huh. That's so right. And with the seventh and eighth grade, it's at nine thirty. I yeah. Well, the eighth grade is at nine thirty and the nine forty, and we stay there until eleven o'clock, and we just hang out. 
So you go to the school to do that? No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it at my computer. Okay. I was going to say, how was your first day out? <laughs> we're, all, we're all virtually, we're all virtually here. You know, it's like a big Google Meet. You know. Okay. And we're all here, and they can ask us anything we want. We can mute. We could, you know, they don't even have to put their video on in case they have bedhead because they're not out of bed. I got locked down here. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of us have got locked down here. Yeah. Except uh, Mrs. Oliver, I think. She's the one that got her hair cut. Yeah, but, you know, that's sobering, finding out exactly what you teachers go through. Oh, um, that's the tip of the iceberg. Well, June's told me some stuff, and it's like, oh, my God. Oh my God! It's like, why are you still even there? Oh, I mean, mm. healthcare. Healthcare. Yep. 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 That's it. Yep. 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 Kids. Healthcare. All right. One more to do, huh? <laughs> One more. Yep, to Sandra. Do. They are lucky to be able to attend school. Uh huh. Oh, look. I'll just use my pretty fan here. Aww. Yeah, like, like Sandra said, you know, our butts had to get out and be at the bus stop at 7 a.m. Uh -huh. What if they had to be up by 7 just so that you guys could, you know, give them their lessons or whatever? They're lucky they can get up at 9.30 or whenever they, they get up. I, I mean, my, my school usually, uh, school during normal time started at 8 o'clock, and, and uh, the high school starts at 7.30, <coughs> and um, they have it that the older kids go first, and the younger kids are at the end, because it's all staged, so that way the older kids get home first, in case, you know, they're the ones that might have to be able to take care of the younger ones, because their parents work. So the high schoolers get home at around 2.00. 2 to 15 and then the, the other people get you know like a half an hour later is the middle school which is what i am six seven and eight and then um kindergarten through third and then for some reason uh fourth and fifth is the last so it, it sort of staggers because we use our own buses um so that everybody the the high school people are the first ones in school and the first ones out so they can take care of the little ones if they have to do that and you know i don't i don't know i just don't know i don't know why yeah i know that there was a lot of problems i know the parents trying to be teachers is an also you know is a very hard thing and i understand that and i know that a lot of teachers weren't doing all that they should have done i understand that too right but when i'm told that you know when the superintendent tells us that the parents are complaining to him that they can't get their kids to go to bed at night i'm like whoa they need structure okay that starts at home structure starts at home i don't care how mentally challenged or physically challenged that there's no excuse not to have your child in bed by nine o'clock and up by six yep however you want to put it yeah but whatever Half the time i couldn't wait to go to bed <laughs> We did things that made us exhausted. We played and we. All right. We did our homework. I used to come home. I think what was it? When I was going to you know grandma school, I got home but like three thirty. We used to eat very early, and then I used to do my homework right away, and it was over and done. And then I'd have the rest of the night. It was like I came home, I relaxed for a little while, maybe watched a TV show, had dinner around four thirty because my mother always cooked early and then did a homework. So by five thirty, six o'clock, I was done, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, parents, well, people have a lot of excuses, 
and it drives me crazy when they have the excuses. I mean, I, I do know that some teachers weren't doing all that they could have, but then there was a, a big thing with the union, so I'm not going to get involved in that. You know, and as with everything, some people are more lazier than others. Again, that's just normal. You know, that's you find that in any business, doctors, lawyers, and Indian chiefs. But, um, well, a teacher is there to teach, not to babysit the be their nanny. Yep. Well, that's ridiculous. And then and the I the principal didn't say nothing back. Well, like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> well, what's happening? Uh, I don't know what he said, you know, like this, the superintendent. I don't know what he said. I don't know what he did, but I know that there's a budget vote coming up for, you know, for the school. So I guess he's trying to be as politically positive as humanly possible because of it. Politically correct. Yes. All right, Sandra. And Sandra says, like, that's not your fault. That's a parent's job to create structure within the home. Parents need to be parents first instead of trying to be a friend. That's right. Well, you know, they, they, they start with, then, the, you know, this one's divorced. They came from there. And, I, and that doesn't go over with me well either, you know? So... It's a single family household. And I'm like, I don't know who you're talking to. Please don't talk to me about that. Cause my husband died when my kids were 12 and nine and they, and they did fine in school. So please don't tell me it's because, you know, you're a single right. family or you're a one parent or this or that or the other thing. That's not an excuse either. If you don't put importance on education, then they're going to figure that out. Okay, here's here. Okay, has anybody in their lifetime at school ever had a teacher that hated you so much that she would take you out in the hallway and spank your ass every day? No, that ain't I not. did. Is any kind of excuse she could have? She wanted me paddled. Wow. Oh, no. that's horrible. And I had the paddles with the holes in it. That's horrible. That's horrible, Martha. She's a daydreamer. She don't do nothing in freaking school. Well, I'm in third grade. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, maybe I had back then ADDT or whatever the hell they call it. <laughs> Give me some Ritalin. I'll fall asleep in the corner. Good Lord, people. Yeah, well, when we were growing up, you know, you're younger than I am, but it, the pendulum was swung too much with the discipline. Now the pendulum is swung so much that now we can't discipline. Because if we do, you know, we get we get the parents saying, well, you know, not my son, not my daughter, they're angels. So the pendulum, you know, like we can't find the middle ground. They should have never, like we should never be able to beat kids. But although sometimes... <laughs> It sort of was a nice thought, but we have to have There's some. A lot of times, a lot of kids out there need a good smack. Yeah, but we need to have like, you know, like they have in-school suspension. So, you know, because sometimes they can't sus just suspend them out of school, and then what happens in in-school suspension is that we have to give them all the work. So they keep up. But like my my thing is if they did something wrong, we shouldn't give them the work. We should make them sit there and do absolutely nothing. And then when they go home, give them all the work. So they should do it at home. Mm -hmm. You know, like otherwise it's just like they're sitting in a room all by themselves and they say that's punishment enough. Some of these kids love doing it. Yeah. That's too easy. That's too easy. Again, we're punishing them, but we're giving them everything. Punish them and then make them become responsible 
to do their work at home. They're the ones who got in trouble. They, they shouldn't be working during school. They should just sit there and be bored, and, you know, and maybe, maybe, and then give them all the work as they walk out the door. Mm -hmm. uh, Pamela says she wasn't paddled, but kept in the seventh grade for three years. Wow. Why, right, Pamela? That's ridiculous. My mom would let them punish us, but they had to call her and she had to go up there before they were allowed to paddle us or, she, you know, she wanted to make sure. Yep, and that's only fair. Right, but she was there and she didn't stop him. I mean, no, he lifted me right off the ground, but I did wrong. But my mom was there, you know. Yeah, so she could tell him to make sure it didn't go overboard, at least, or whatever. Yeah, or give her another one. <laughs> uh -huh. She needs another swat. Now, the one time my son got in trouble, I went up to, you know, they called me and they told me, and I went up to the school. They didn't ask me to. But I went up to the school because I wanted him to know that I knew and I wanted him to know how serious I thought it was. Now, he didn't get paddled or anything, but he got yelled at. And, you know, but I went up there with the, with the thing of also listening to his side because I know that he, you know, he first time he ever got in trouble was in the fifth grade. I mean, come on. You know that he wasn't exactly a troublemaker. But uh, I oh, I'm sorry, June. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Uh, Kelly says, my teacher protected me from my dad and did everything sh she could so my dad would not beat me. There are yeah. teachers that are like that. that they yeah. can do Yes, it. there are some good teachers out there. Yeah. Rare to find. Uh, some teachers can sense it. Or, you know, they, they just know. Well, now to go and do all of that, Kelly, is that we have to get so many of the authorities involved. Yes. It, it, it's, it's almost. Okay. There's two codes in that. Sad. You know, we have a couple of instances in the district where that we wanted to get people to go to their home because we were very concerned about the child. But you have to go through hoops of fire to accomplish that. You can't just say you want somebody, you know. It, it's, I don't know. Uh, they call Kept it the seventh grade it. for three years. Oh, my God. Yeah. Kept in seventh grade for three years. That's because that's, that's. So oh, that's heart wrenching right there. Yep. I got to rinse my water out. I got a whole bunch of glitter. Yeah. Okay. I am going to pick out somebody and they are going to tell us a different story that we can all reminisce about. Okay. Well, I, I, was, in, I was in the hospital and somebody thought Leroy was my son in 1976 <laughs> in 1976 <laughs> oh, okay. you want me to think about a story in 1976 well, I no, can tell you, I can, no 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 I can tell I'm going to say <laughs> um, Sandra mm -hmm. Beating oh. Heart Treasures give us a subject we can commence about Change this up, yeah. Good yeah, idea. I'm trying to. Yeah, let's change off the t the teachers. Yep. Because that that whole unit you were telling me about can piss me right off. No, actually, it was the parents. The parents. Yeah, give us. No pressure. <laughs> um, yeah. Nothing real political. Let's see, she says. What's our favorite ice cream? Cookies and cream. I'll answer. Strawberry. 
Martha? I'm waiting for Sandra to figure out what she wants to talk about. Well, what's your favorite ice cream while we're waiting? Chocolate. Okay. Oh, God, I love chocolate ice cream with dry roasted salted peanuts on it. Ooh. <gasps> Sandra can't have ice cream. Okay, well, that was just, that was just an intro, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> That we could keep the conversation going while we waited for you. This is what we're waiting on you, sweetie. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, God, there's so many different things out. Who can't wait till this band is over with? Yeah. I had a dream in 1976. Oh, shit. I had one in 1940. <laughs> I wasn't even alive yet. <laughs> what do we dream? Well, I haven't had any dreams like this. In 1976, I did. Like, when, how old? You got a thing about this 1976. So I, was, I was 14 years old, and I'll never forget it. I was 19. Barbara just had hot fudge. Oh, Barbara. Oh, Barbara. <laughs> Miss Wiggins. I had done. I saw that, Barbara. You're going on June 3rd to get your hair done. I saw that. Okay, forget no, the ice, ice cream. cream. Makes me sick. It's sad. Ice cream. That was just the. Pamela <laughs> chocolate chip with peanut butter. Yeah, wrong subject. Wrong subject. <laughs> oh, that what was. About projects we want to try. Okay, let's do that. Let's put some craft in the crafting section. Okay. okay. Sandra, what project do you want to try that you have not tried yet? It'll take her a half hour. <laughs> LOL. Oh, we know how to laugh. She, she, you didn't say she had the answer. She just had to put out the question. <laughs> See, a project that I want to try that I've never tried. Mm. Well, it's not going to be junk journaling. Nope. Oh, no. Something I've always wanted to try and haven't tried. Oh, crap. I look at everything in this room, and it's like, oh, I've tried that, tried that, <laughs> tried that. That's what I'm, I'm doing, that. Martha. I'm looking all over my room like, okay, what? <laughs> woodworking? Okay, that's woodworking for Sandra. Um, Sandra, I did get, while I was down in Arkansas, I did get one of them little birdhouses, and I painted it up, and I did mandalas on it for my aunt to, for her to hang up on her porch outside. Yeah, so she loved it. Barbara Higgins says paint pour. Ooh. Oh, uh, I've never done that. Not sure if I want to try it. It is pretty stuff, though, man. Can you just imagine? Can you imagine doing it with, like, enamels on a great big surface and have that, like, your counter? Yeah. Ooh, that would be pretty. Oh, I got one. Look like that much. Uh, what? Calligraphy. Calligraphy. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one. I've done some calligraphy. Me too. I've done that. It's fun. You just have to keep your nib in the same angle. That's what I think too, Kelly. Too much waste. Um, Tanya says pottery. Rachel. Ooh, pottery. Fringe earrings. Rachel wants to make earrings. Okay. Clint cross stitching. What about cross stitching? Well, I don't know, Clint. What about is that something you've always wanted to try and never done? I did embroidery, so that's close enough. Sandra has an aunt that does calligraphy. I love that writing. You know, so I thought I had my mom's calligraphy book, but I, all the books I went through, I didn't find it yet. Oh, Barbara's going to do a paint pour on her table. Nikki's going to do help. What? Yes, they're going to do a table as soon as Nikki can come to visit. Nikki wants to help us. Okay. I just poured my first mold to try resin. Oh, Pamela, you're going to be addicted. Oh, <laughs> Especially when you get the new stuff and it turns white while it's or black, I think it does the same thing. Oh, can and I pick two? Dawn is so cool. Can I pick two? Yeah. Yes. Resin. 
the resin, pouring the resin. Ooh. Resin is fun. Oh, Telly's here. Yeah. Hey, Telly. Okay, I want you all to know. <laughs> Disorganizedcrafter.com has some of them new sea molds. Well, whoever's got them in their cart, you ain't going to have one in your cart because I done bought it. I bought <laughs> it today. <laughs> <You're bumming. laughs> Telly wants to do her kitchen, her countertops and repaint my kitchen cabinets. Hey, Vic, what do you want to do? Well, that's not crafting. That's just hard labor, Telly. <laughs> oh, hi, it, Telly. <laughs> it's woodworking. I would like some new cabinets and countertop in my kitchen, too, but that'll be at another time. The kiln. Yes, yes. You know, one thing I'd really uh, always wanted to try, but you really got to have the proper tools, and that's um, stained glass. Yes, that was mine. That and paper curling, but I have I have all the supplies for paper curling. I just haven't tried it yet. Quilling. Quilling, curling, quilling. You know I never get that right. You still got to do quilling too, yeah. Mrs. Barbara Higgins wanted me to do a butterfly way back when, so we got to do one of them. Yeah, I hollered at you, Vic. What do you want to try? I wasn't trying to holler, but you know that I talk loud because my mic is right up here. here. My video cam, it makes me sound like I'm yelling. No, your sound is fine. No, Vic thinks I'm yelling at her. Oh, she wants to do resin. Vic wants to do resin. And we're going to do that, Barbara. And um, Sandra, Sandra said her mom used to do it back in the 60s and 70s and one in the county fairs. Wow. Had molds, no resin. Yeah, I, have. I got that little bit of resin left. I probably got enough. There might be enough in that bottle to do in that new mold. <laughs> I have the Frank Garcia. What are they? The, the, it has handles and corners and all that. And I bought the black resin. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Now, that would be interesting, Sandra. Resining flowers. Resin flowers. I'd like to know how that goes. I just got to know. IOD. Oh, I know that one, but I forgot. I, I got one, too. It was one that none of the ladies had. I don't know what it's called, so I'm getting it. <laughs> 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 well think about it what do you got to do to do it june um well i can use i use paper clay i use pa instead of instead of the resin a lot so i have paper clay yeah. oh olivia says that she likes her little blue rose oh she did do one didn't she yes Okay, now, Olivia, did you paint it blue or did you add in to tint it blue? Because I know she did a blue one. I think she had a red one on her little rosette. I think she made her own molds because it was back in the day and they had didn't have the resin tools they do today. She using paper clay, too. I haven't tried this paper clay. I first saw it a long time ago on um, one of May, my, May, my Lawson. I don't know. And then um, Heather did it on the Secret Garden. Remember that Secret Garden? The, the um, all the stuff that she did. Yeah, I've watched a lot of people. They do beautiful work, I'm telling you. Well, I just yeah, I just use it because I have it. And I do have some clear resin. Oh, so she added 
the clear resin. Okay. I bought the black so I wouldn't have to mix it. I was lazy. Well, if I was going to get a, I, I needed the clear resin for something else, but if I was going to get the resin, I would get the black too because I love how the color pops on it. Great. Then I did good. Yeah, I would always, I would only get the black. The white is sort of whatever. Um, Gary Burns says, I know some stories. Oh, hi, Gary. What's up, buddy? Gary, I tell you what, he, he does some auction stuff. He watches this auction place. He gets some awesome stuff. And he sent me that beautiful, what was it, tiger, tiger necklace. Oh, please let there be enough on here. Well, it should be. It's the same damn thing. Christine, you still on here? What would you want to try? Yeah, and Ann Smith, what is it that you haven't tried? Oh, you can add acrylic paint to resin. Whoa, almost lost my... And I add white to make the colors pop. Okay. Martha, he says 1989, I'm per school. And he says not 1976. <laughs> <laughs> he done caught on to you, didn't he? Has he heard my, has he heard my dream before? <laughs> He's heard your dream before. Victoria, do you make your own paper paste? I uh, just add acrylic paint to resin. I add white to make the colors pop. Okay. You don't use alcohol inks? You know, because um, I think the next resin I buy, doesn't the clear resin take longer to set up, though? Because I like some of these racks that I'm doing. You like my finger <laughs> um the yeah. rock lady i watch paint all the time i did name escape me um she uses clear resin on all her stones and that's supposed to be really really good against the weather so i i'm thinking that next one i would like to buy is the clear um, the one that I had that I was doing the witch's bathtub with, it took 24 hours for um, it to dry. Okay. And then to really um, season or whatever you call that, harden completely, I don't know if it was like 48 or 72 hours, but after 24, uh, it was considered dry. That's not bad. But the other resin, the one that like Nikki uses all the time, the black resin, that dries really quick, right? The white, the white one dries, the black, does, the black cures, does, cures very quickly. I think the black does too. Um, Gary says, I was second year umpire student and my roommate was OJ Simpson's limo driver. Wasn't wow. that keto? What? Wasn't keto that? Tito? We, we haven't Tito? <laughs> Are we drinking? Not Cheetos. Oh. <laughs> she went to a totally different subject. What is, what is Cheeto? Hey, what's up? Yeah, I don't know who Cheeto oh, was. No, 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 no. No, that was the guy that killed his wife. A little bit drinking perks up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now, who in the heck was that keto guy? Was he the, um, was he the big Asian guy in Goldfish? No, he was, he was kind of a hot, cute blondie. Oh. oh yeah. What was the Asian okay, guy in? Skip that subject. I need to find some material. I put tape on it. Now, the other roll, I could have just cut that much tape off and it'd been the same damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, rags, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I need a little bit. I need something with grip on that so I can move the, 
Well, I could eat the duct tape, I suppose. Well, Martha, Olivia would like to know if you still have the lace picks and roses on Messenger. Um, I think so. Why? She thinks so. Why? I don't know which one's better, both. Okay, now wait. Now she's asking, Martha, have you got elastic bands wrapped those round to give grip? Oh, you need to read what Gary wrote. After all that tape I put on it, thanks. I love you. But I got a rubber band, baby. Woo! Big one, too. That's some big you-know-what rubber band there, Martha. Yeah, well, now I think I'm going to put it on this thing. Too sticky. So, we take the other one. <laughs> See, all I had to do was cut that much off. <laughs> um, That's a Nicker Elastic Band. Well, that might have been Nicker Elastic Band prior to the quarantine. Okay, I'll put it over on this one. We can still save that piece of tape. Rubber band. See, that's what I needed. I really needed something rubbery and grippy. <laughs> Mick, that would shoot a spit wad to the moon. Oh, no, not on me. That works good. It took five Pollocks to figure that out. All right. Now what? Um, I have to look at it for a minute and figure this out. Okay, well, you're looking. Olivia said, I mentioned the lace and roses as those show the resin pieces I make. I'm very confused. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the roses that she made. But the lace... Is this in Cannes Crew or someplace else? My uncle was a Polak. <laughs> Kissing cousins. <laughs> if you've never been to a, a Polak get together, <laughs> I ain't kissing and telling. I. And now she says it looks like a dolly. A doily. Doily. Okay. Sorry. Hey, we're doing the best we can here. I think Scully Doily. About ordering some UV resin. Um, yeah, some of that UV resin is really cool. That I have. With the little flashlight, I love that. Yeah. Job. Yeah. Well, that's what you used in your bathtub, right? You had to you put the UV. I. No, I used the regular resin in that. I used did I use the UV on something? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I used the UV on the drip. Mm-hmm. That's that I used the UV on. Yep. yep. I remember. I remember. Who's the bestie? Okay, well, that little conversation about all them crafts went in a whole bunch of different directions, didn't they? Yeah, but we got I was it. thinking I was thinking of one of them that we could try. Which one? Pretty much everybody's going to end up trying resin, so we wouldn't do that. Oh, okay, Libya, thank you. Um 
What was all the other ones? Oh, crap. Well, you're going to show me paper, quilling, curling, quilling, whatever, again. Anyway, I was sure that DA, DAs would drag me into that trial. I was expecting it, but it never happened. My theory was a driver hid the missing knife in one of them limos, and I doubt they searched. Yeah, it's really freaky that OJ had that blood in the truck. Yeah, uh-huh, right. Had to paint corn. Dad tools him spacing and depth. Oh, how to plant cool. Well, we've tried quilling. I've showed how to quill. We've tried that one. Yes. But we will we will do some more quilling. Like Die Die went and bought the quilling stuff and I didn't keep going with it. And she gave it away. <laughs> it's like Die Die. We will go back to it. I still have all of it. I haven't started doing it yet because I haven't had time. I have enough of my own things that I gotta accomplish. But I wanted to make okay. a pretty yeah. picture. Some other craft. I know there's a couple things I really have to do after I get these projects done. Is to show you guys all how to make a holder to do beads with. We're going to make a pair of earrings. And obviously we're going to try to do the show how to do peyote stitch. Um, odd and even. Um... Okay, them are two things we got to do, and some more quilling. So there's three. I really have to get down and start sewing my poor curtains from my kitchen. I have got to get into the sewing. Yeah. I've got to get that done because that material's been sitting on the washer for what? Two years now. <laughs> it seems like. Oh, so much to do and so much time. Okay, so I think I'm ready for something shiny. So I could either do... What have I got in here? I think I got that Tanzanite. No, that's color shift. What did I do with it? Oh, don't tell me I didn't bring it. Where is it? I got my neon purples. Well, I didn't. Oh, there it is. Tanzanite. Or do I want to do... How about the firebird? Okay, we have to... The phoenix feather. Yeah, uh, we might Barbara's, just that. Huh? Uh, Barbara says she's done with sewing for a while after making all those yeah. masks. Love out loud. Barbara, yeah. 145, was it, Barbara? 145 masks? Wow. She was only going to start with like 20 and ended up that everybody needed them? I still have to make a mask because Ruby sent me the... Um, interfacing so i still gotta make that but i'm just saying for myself i won't do it live but i definitely want to get them curtains done okay 180 Ooh, more than i thought wow 180 masks okay. and victoria is going to do another quilt that is fully hand stitched wow girl Oh, God. The lid is, like, melted on it. Oh, I got it. I ripped my fingernails off. Oh, what a pretty, pretty color. Oh. It looks oh, that's like a tangerine orange, but it's really, really pretty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why, why is Shirley... Is Shirley here? No, she keeps talking to me on Facebook Messenger, but why won't she... Add, what, what is it, Shirley? How come you can't talk and chat?
A bunch of jewelry parts I need to get rid of. Anyone need them? Uh, Martha, uh, Clint replied. Yeah, i seen that. I have a bunch of jewelry parts I need to get rid of. Like, what kind of jewelry parts, Gary? Okay, how do I want to do this? Do I... I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do, so... Oh, I I I'm going it. to go with... Got this glitter all messed up. Oh, you know what? Uh, I look like Gary, it was a chicken feather. Gary Sam beads. It probably was a chicken feather. <laughs> Dad's house. <clears throat> Gosh, you know, I really hate glitter. I just say, mm -hmm. I, I hate glitter. I like the look of it, but. Yeah, so do I. But I hate working with it. I really do. Well, uh, Gary, as much as you go to all these auctions and stuff, why don't you auction them beads off? Okay. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be the right color to do this or not. But I definitely want some pretty colors in here. Hold so hopefully I do this right. Let me wash my hands again. Ugh. Let's see how this stuff works for. Oh, I want to see if how I can get my points back on tack. We're gonna go right there. Oh my God, that's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, it is very pretty. It was sticky. Very pretty color. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Talk about some shine. Um, Gary said that he won two big boxes and he took out the sterling and 14 karat gold. And can't use the other stuff. Well, thanks, Gary. I like the gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to keep the gold. And Clint says, I need to sell my jewelry. I need to sell. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, there's not six in between there. So we're going to go right there. Um, Kelly says she has to go. Have a great night. Well, night. thanks for coming in, Kelly. Good night, Kelly. We'll see you next time, sweetie. And Pamela says be back medicine time. Oh, yeah, I got 52 time. grams of 14 carat, 127 ounces of silver. Oh, sweet, Gary. I told you. Sorry. You have to show me some of your good stuff. I might want to buy something. Can Shirley not get in Messenger? I mean, in chat? I don't know. She she got that new computer or whatever, and she's just having a hell of a time with passwords, and I'm going to see what she's doing now. I can't text messages in YouTube till I get my YouTube on my channel. Yeah, her password's from the other one. Okay, we got it. She's still having problems with that. Wow. Okay, these have got to dry. I can't tip it yet. I could tip it this way, though. And Barbara says, yeah, we miss Shirley. Oh, this is not very circle tight. Yeah. In here, I guess. 
Okay, Shirley, I'll try to watch it for you, okay? I got it on my cell phone. Not that I'll see it, but I got it there in case you want to say something. That poor girl. See, my password to... Wait a minute. What's my password? I think my password to YouTube was the same as my password to my Gmail. I don't think it's anything different. I hope it isn't because I don't remember it if it is. <laughs> but well, that, that I, is definitely off. Well, then, Clay, why don't she just change her password, which I've asked her before, and then she told me why she couldn't change it. I don't know. Poor girl. Yeah, I can't remember mine. Because when I got my new computer, once we like uploaded all the Google stuff, it was the same thing. Once I went into YouTube, I didn't have to put in my password or anything. It was just automatically. It just carried over. I don't know. That's Microsoft. I I am using. I don't use Apple products. So if you're talking about Apple products or iPads, I have no idea. I use Microsoft, and once we put in my password for Microsoft, everything came back up on the new computer, Facebook, everything. Oh, that's cool, Gary. Right. Oh, her son created a new account. You know, we're going to have to talk to your son, Shirley. Going to have to have a little conversation with him. Um, Tanya says, got to go. I'll see you all later. Have a great night. Okay, Tanya. We will see you probably next time then, hey? Have a good night. What, well, Holly May? Good night, Miss Tanya. Good night, Tanya. Have a good night. She's telling me I've been in this room too long today. Uh, I've been in there, what, about 12 hours? <laughs> a while. I told her it's going to be a day in the craft room. I'll do it for you, Shirley. Med check. Oh, God, yes. I got to do med check. Okay. If you're all sticking around, let's <laughs> take the intermission. Everybody take a pee break. I, no, it's called a TMI break. <laughs> oh, okay. TMI break, pills, whatever you want to pop or whatever. Coffee. Let's go do that. I don't Pop. have any popping pills. Just let's not. <laughs> not there. <laughs> not there. I'm going to go choke on some. Uh, yeah. I'll go get okay. me a cup of coffee. I'm going to make sure I don't oh, run over the cat. And my paint can dry, and then we can do the other two sides of that. Yes, I'm going to go to the potty. Okay. We'll all meet back. Meow. Meow. Okay. Hello. How are we? I figured since I'm the only one back. Hope you couldn't. Oh, Teresa, you still here? 
Uh, I guess you went to. Hope you can't hear my toilet. It's right by the, uh, it's right by my desk. Okay. I got mine done. I got me a Twizzler. Oh, we're getting snacks too? Gary, message me. I'm sure I can find out what it is. Okay, what? Okay. Hmm, gold and silver out of it. She probably got them when she, her ounce of silver was 10 an ounce. Okay. Yeah, Leroy, milk, no sugar. What? Who's Leroy? Teresa is married to Leroy. Oh, okay. And every now and then, if you hear me go, Elroy! <laughs> he can hear me, but he can't hear her. Oh, okay. He has selective hearing. Let's get my mouse and let's see if I like these things I made. Otherwise, I'm gonna toss them. Hmm. We toss it. You what? What? What, June? I said I'm gonna. I got my mouse and see if I like these things I made. Otherwise, I might be tossing them. Oh. Okay. That's what I normally do anyway, right? Half the time. Yep. Oh, I think I, Martha, I think I like them. Oh, are you dotting? When you finish dotting, tell me. I want to show you. All right. Oh, Penny. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Okay, Penny, here's a question for you. What kind of art? Would you like to try but never done? That was one of our little questionnaires we were having a little while ago. And what's your favorite ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> June, what was yours? Uh, cookies and cream. Okay. You know, I do love to taste other people's ice creams. <laughs> <laughs> I but make ice cream. My go to one is chocolate. I do make ice cream, Martha. Oh, oh, you do make ice cream? Yeah. This is so close. It was showing my nose has. <laughs> Wait a minute. Go upside down. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, you want me to do that? I, I used well, to you can have your nose hairs can fall out then. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> You're showing nose hairs. I'm back. <laughs> Very chocolate fudge swirl. Ooh. Once in a while, I buy that. What is it? Moose tracks. Oh, my God. That stuff's good. Martha, are you looking? Or are you busy? You, dot you stopped dotting. Huh? No, wait. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on, woman. Oh, no, you didn't have to put me on big. Yeah, I got to let this dry a minute before I can flip it over. Right, what, do, what do you think about these things? Jeez, now I'm going to mess with my camera. Don't fall because then we'll have a real mess. What do you think? Oh, well, they look great. I like it. You think so? I mean, yep. I, can't get, I can't hold them all up. They'll go around there. They look glittery. It kind of goes with the outfit. Yeah. I think they look good. Yeah, continue. Yeah, continue. 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 Okay. Thank you. Where am I? You're welcome. <laughs> oh, you haven't well yet. Don't put it all on me because I was just <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the freeway going here for a little bit. Again. I could show you my nose hairs. 
Okay, which one do I... Oh, I gotta do the other side. Oh, see? Yeah, you don't want pretty boy up there all the time. Thank you, Barbara. Beat it by Bran High said Tigger Tigger. Hi, Bran. Is that an ice cream flavor? I don't know. I would, if it is, I've never heard of it. Oh, wow. You know, when it's on my desk, it doesn't pull up as many details as it does looking at me right now. What's your problem, you? Move back a little bit. Yeesh. Thank you, Telly. I can save them. <laughs> uh, you know, they keep putting back my, um, my whatchamacallit. What do you call that thing? <laughs> the, impl <laughs> the implant. The implant. got the best vocabulary in the world. I know. Whatchamacallit. The implant. He keeps calling me and pushing it back week by, you know, weeks by weeks. So I was supposed to get my implant for that tooth. Oh, and. Beat it by Bren says, yes, Tigger Tigger is an ice cream flavor? Oh, never heard of it. Oh, whose nose hairs did you see the other night, Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, it's hard to be humble. humble. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. We're losing control, Martha. Oh. It's orange with the liquid sweat. Thank you, because it was going to drive me crazy. Ooh, with the licorice swirl. I can see the color for Tigger. Yes. But not, okay. no, orange and, oh. Barbara said we should ask Martha. Ask Martha what? About nose hairs. No. I know I got a few hanging. No, she said we should. I don't know. I don't know. Here's, no, I mean, that, that's not a good conversation. Forget that. I'll get in trouble. No. Okay. Yeah. Forget that one. I, re, I rethought that. Okay. Oof, that was quick. Step away from the thought. Step away from the thought, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. All that color is done. Oh, God, this is too much on me. Oh, oh gosh, that's too much of my fat. Hold on. I'll move it back down to the desk. Oh, See, oh that tiger? Tiger, yeah. tiger? I like to. I can't read. What do you want me to read, too? I'm, I got a lot going on here. I'm doing crafts, entertaining, reading. Who was in the chat when we was all in the chat the other night? About nose hairs. I remember the chat the other night, but. Oh, I don't think I was in that chat because I don't remember talking about nose hairs. Olivia, where are you that it's 310 in the morning? She, Olivia, is in England. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, she must have a lovely, I love British accent. And for a while, I thought she was Irish, but no. <laughs> no, she has a beautiful accent. She was in here with them with us for a minute. I was there. I was there with the nose hands. Oh boy. Nah, I don't know. Oh, Penny remembers. She says, "Yes, you were." Oh boy. Was I paying attention? Was that? <laughs> that could be the other thing. I don't know. Were you? No, probably not, since I don't remember it. You know, my brain goes in all different ways. Nose hairs, nose hairs. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Boy, Penny, yeah. Penny said he, he was the one with just the one group of us. Okay, well. Penny. I she my wasn't mind, paying attention then. <laughs> my mind is just gone. I have no idea. As usual. I found the Best Buy gift card. $25. Look at that. Well, that's nice. Can't go there. 
I mean, I know I can go online, but I, I was not, most have not been paying attention. You most have not. I, I don't know what I was doing. Penny, you can't depend on me to pay attention. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, Barbara. Okay, Barbara saw everybody's nose hairs. Now I remember it. Sorry. Okay. Whew. I was going to say, I don't think I was in that one. No, you weren't in that one. You didn't answer the phone. Barbara saw everybody's nose hairs. But I was the only one that was on video, so you only saw my nose hairs, Barbara, because everybody else had their video off. <laughs> well, I have you. I have you know. I'm, I haven't been brushing my nose hairs recently because I don't have to groom as much anymore since nobody sees me. Oh, I'm tired. I don't feel like crafting for a few seconds. Oof. Now okay. I remember. Okay, we said the right words. Penny says at least that she, she is polite enough to braid her, her <laughs> hairs and keep them pretty for you all. <laughs> Penny is our little hobbit. <laughs> Just so you know, she's got hobbit feet and stuff like that. So she's our little hobbit. Hobbits have nose hairs too, don't they? Um, yeah, they have long. Ah, we had a, we had a, we had a, we had a freeze plan. I'm trying to make sure every toy. I mean, uh, okay, Shirley's laughing. I think what it was it? it was cuter though when you hollered at, it, and if you watched your hand movement oh. <laughs> in the shadow. <laughs> what does IMBO mean? What does what mean? IMBO. L-M-A-O. Oh, L-M-A-O. Laugh my butt off. Laugh my butt off. Laugh my butt off. I laugh my butt off. <laughs> I got it. You, you know. Hobbits have hair on the bottom of their feet even. Yeah. I remember that, I think, Penny. Sorry, Shirley. Nose hairs. What a good conversation we're having. You laugh, Martha. <laughs> I did not bring that up. No, it was me. I'm any, sorry. any subject, any subject. Okay, okay. we have to change the conversation again. Let's see. Let's go back to nineteen seventy-six. I had a dream. <laughs> In nineteen seventy-six, junior speech. I had a dream. No, but I, I had one in nineteen seventy-six. You know, <laughs> I need to know about this 1976 dream because it's come up a couple of times. What ha I was 19 in 1976. What was going on? I, I was 14. I will tell you later in private. It was a nice dream. Remember that from 14? Everything years she's ever done was in 1976. So Just about, yeah, I was 14. A lot happened. <laughs> I don't from 76 to... I'm sorry, too. What'd you say? No, uh, Vic says she leaves for a few and now it's nose hairs. Hey, you know, the conversation is going up and up. I was talking about hair on the feet at a dream in 1976 when I was 19 and I have no idea because I can't even remember stuff that happened in 1976. <sighs> oh, they want the details. Well, was a good year 1976, I was one year away, or I was months away from graduating. So, no, I was 14. Does this have something to do with Elvis? It uh, sure does. <laughs> okay. You know You're good. Dude. You're good. Elvis is June. Huh? I oh, have yeah, Elvis. she got Elvis up in her picture. That's right. I got Elvis here. Yeah, but it was a sweet dream. It was a sweet dream. I was only 14. Okay. 
You could have had a nasty dream at 14. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's but it wasn't. Was My mother would have killed me. <laughs> she loved you too much. Your mother would never have known your dream unless you told her about it. Unless and I would, it. I would have told her about it. <laughs> There's some things we don't tell our moms. Even my kids don't tell me everything. Kelly is saying hello from across the pond. Are you saying hello to Olivia or did you fly over to England? Where are you, Kelly? You're in te you were in Texas last I heard. Wait, I got to see if Shirley said anything. Okay, Shirley didn't say anything. Oh, you know what I should have done was sanded that down. Well, that wouldn't have made no difference. Okay, so what are we going to do next? We have to fix some of these because they don't look so good. So we'll do that. They all were so much younger than me in 1976. I'm not telling those story now. No, your yeah. 1976 days are over, woman. Yeah, but I don't forget that dream. Oh, Brenda just sent us, I think, the Tiger Tiger or Tiger Tiger ice cream, whichever way you want to call it. And the uh, and kittens. Thank you. Sort of like Tiger Tiger better than Tiger Tiger, but whatever. Tiger Tiger. <laughs> T I double G -er. Tigger's bounce. You know, black licorice isn't supposed to be good for you, and I hate and that was really upsetting to me because I love black licorice. Anise. Oof. Look it up before anybody starts. Oh, people can put that anise in their food. Anise? Anise? Yeah, well, that's Sambuca. Licorice is anise, yes. Well, that's also Sambuca. So. Oh, Penny says I do too. What is, about what, Penny? Come on. I'm having... Probably the black li the licorice. licorice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oops, what happened? All right, we don't have to go and show me the picture. I saw it. Oh, Shirley doesn't like 1976, Teresa. It was a bad year for her. Oh, I'm so sorry, Shirley. Let me tell you about my dream in private. You, you might pep you up. Hey. My was phone is my... going off. <laughs> what? Sounded like my phone went off. Like, who in the hell's calling or texting at this time? Teresa, you're telling everybody. So you might, I mean, you're telling Shirley, you're telling me. Might as well the private, hey, talk loud. You got to tell Olivia. You might now. just be one of them kind of uh, done it in 1976, and we're going to forget it. <laughs> no. No, she wasn't allowed to do it. She was 14. I was 14. Although they didn't stop. She's a teaser. <laughs> <laughs> Some of my girlfriends were doing some strange things at 14. Shirley lost her dad, her stepdad to cancer. Wow. I am so sorry, Shirley. I am so sorry. Oh, and then I got my arm in it. Yep. Why don't you use a bigger brush? Well, because I don't feel like it. What, Holly May? Excuse me, do I have to have your permission to be in here? Yep. Uh, Pamela says she's back. Well, welcome back, Pam. Pamela, Pamela, Pamela. Oh, that felt funny. Now, what? Oh, throw you <laughs> out the door, Kitty. Gary, Gary's cute. He goes, Elvis told her, "Don't do what you, your your little sister done." Don't do what your little sister done. Yeah. Is that a song? Uh -huh. Yeah. Sorry. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You don't listen to Elvis much, eh, June? No. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. Music is. Music is good for the soul. 
Yes, I listen to music. Yeah, but he was easy on the eye. <laughs> I don't know how much I was going to say but he, ones that go look good. Out, gets that hip going, they pop the eye out. <laughs> I could only remember a few songs. I just hey. thought he was not candy. <laughs> hey, you were 14, so let's yeah. you know. Well, he was still pretty. <laughs> yeah. Well, in that year I was 19, so what did I like? I was sort of with the guys with long hair at that point. They still had long hair. I like long I like man with long hair. If it's kept nice. Yes. I prefer you know, I, I honestly like um men with bald hair, bald now. Well, I'm also a lot older, but I like them bald with, with beards. I like very well kept beards. Well, that's nice. I do like beards on men. I met. Okay. Oh, black licorice. I don't know what black licorice does, but I do know it's not. It says slow down the heart rate. Okay. I think I'm straightening these up a little bit. And I do agree that some men look better bald than they do with hair. With hair. Right? Yep, I agree. June, you're describing my grumpy. Please take him. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Ah. Watch where I put my feet. I'm going to have to move that box. Only a few do his laundry. Not in, I'm not into taking care of things anymore. Where is, is Shirley commenting? Shirley, you got to comment a little bit more. I'm watching for you now. Oh, I have glitter all over me. <laughs> Olivia says done. Okay. That's got to dry a little bit before I can paint the other coat. And after that little section's all painted, then this one will be done. And that'll be another thing done. And then I can screw it to the wall. Telly's mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there. Hey, Telly. Did you tell us what your favorite ice cream was, Kelly? I don't know if I've seen it, if she did. He's self-isolated because he's under lying issues. He's doing my head in. <laughs> I know I need it. I was had country hits, religious hits, and rock hits. Name an, another that has done that and pretty doing it all and acted. Goth Brooks. Name another one that did country, religious, rocks. The Osmonds. Goth yep. Brooks. Yep. They did all that. Plus, they acted. Mm -hmm. Donnie was in that one vacation movie. Now, wait a minute. I was forced into liking Elvis because my mama. Now, Donnie, Donnie was my Donnie. <laughs> I love Donnie Osmond. Our have, age group. Yeah. Did you have a dream of him in 1976, too? No, no. It was Elvis. Oh, it was Elvis. Okay. It was Elvis. She's so cute. It was Elvis. It was definitely Elvis. It was definitely Elvis. No, no mistake in it. Nope. I used to have dreams of Donnie until he married Debbie. And then, done. Never had another one. Weird. Shirley liked Donnie, too. 
one uh, a one centerfold he did for teen magazine or whatever it was back then um mm -hmm. i ended up doing a chalk portrait i can't believe how well i did on that oh and that was something i should have kept all my life and i don't know why i have to do it i don't know what happened to it that's what he did gary when he walked into my dream he took over the room <laughs> that's what he did he did <coughs> maybe john wayne was bigger well I, well, I'm not going to tell you what I thought, John Wayne. I had to watch him when I was young. Um, but the way he walked, I got in trouble one time for, <laughs> for describing his walk. <laughs> oh, boy. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't, don't, yeah. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. <laughs> well, that was that tilt he had, like there was something not. Uh -huh. <laughs> we had to go to the bathroom. Let's just leave yeah, it. There you go, Jim. You said it's safer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a long haired lover from Liverpool. <laughs> Weird. He had rickets. John Wayne? He's rolling on the floor. What he's falling on the floor for. <sighs> TMI. TMI is not pee break upon it. Oh, too much information? <laughs> well, he's the one that had to walk, Olivia. I didn't have the walk. He did. Olivia, from now on, your pee breaks are TMI. TMI is now the new pee break word. <laughs> She reminds me so much of Penny. No, no. Teresa reminds me of Penny. That's what we talked about. And I swear to God, Penny Van, you would not believe Teresa. I mean, I really wanted to ask her and you if you both were adopted because I bet you were sisters in a real life. <laughs> she did ask me. She did ask me. It was just so weird. Olivia, I'm confused too, but don't just go with it. Otherwise, I'm not talking about no test again, and then I'll really get confused. Let's go. We're doing This is called but a new the thing about Scotty, where I was getting at, I, I, I was thinking of Olivia. Um, you and Penny do a lot of pee breaks. I mean, it, it's all funny, girls. Don't get me wrong, but it's like we don't need to know if you got to take a pee break you know it's tmi oh so that's where the tmi is coming from is from a living oh okay weird i don't know just goofy that's okay because i always tell you i gotta go to the bathroom we're gonna be on for hours then you know there's just so much the bladder can hold and so many stories. I got one about wood chips. <laughs> well, I could say it's uh, S H I um, poo break. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I, oh no, that was. But no one knows what that is in here. B I O. Teresa, what? I used to know that funny thing. What's going on here? First you have a dream about this, and then Daddy came in, fell on the dream, and now we're talking about wood chips. <laughs> we're losing control. Wood chips. Yeah, she just said I could tell you something about wood chips. I don't know. I'm trying to follow Martha. I don't know if I told Martha. I think Martha listen. When when is that what they're called when when you do your your flower beds and you put the mulch? Yeah. Okay. Wood chips, mulch. Well, at my other house, <laughs> you could call the city. I think Martha just got it. Um, you could call my, you could call the city, and they'll bring out free mulch. 
well, I, they asked me how much did I want, and I said, well, uh, a medium load, I guess, and they said, okay, so they delivered it before I woke up. When I woke up in this little bitty driveway, it had towered my house in my driveway, and it went past my neighbor's bedroom window. It was all the way up down my driveway. You couldn't get in or out of my side door. And Leroy pulls up, and he goes, what have you done? <laughs> the, the malt was still smoking from the chipper. <laughs> the whole neighborhood was just like, they're driving by just laughing at me. And <laughs> Penny says, are you telling us your bathroom has mulch? <laughs> <laughs> no. I went to an entirely different story. My brain works that way. <laughs> Christine, don't ask what you're missing because we're not sure where this is going. To be. Now, Kelly said she loves long hair and neatly trimmed hair. I don't know where that came from. I should I, use gotta, I have to mute for a second. I'm muting. I like the littler brush works better. Okay, now let's what's another subject we can manipulate? Just pick one. Um oh crap, I can't think of one. Can't think of one. Oh, do, do, do. I can't think of one. I know. I can't think of one. Oh, somebody come up with a topic. Yes, somebody come up with a topic. I'll follow in. <laughs> Why does she have to run? What's happening? What did kid at school get in trouble for? For? Oh, we're doing riddles and jokes now? <laughs> no. Olivia got me in trouble, well, almost in trouble in her life. Because over there in England, I guess something is called something else. And here I am in a live chat just saying, oh, I'm saying this word. And I just, you know, just kept saying it and saying it. And uh, Miss Dondi goes, why is Olivia laughing? And I go, because she told me this word. And she goes, do you know what that word is? I go, no. And she told me what it was. I go, Olivia. Bullocks. Now oysters, yeah. I had um, The word was bullocks. That's it. Bullocks, that's yeah. That's the word. Wait, Barbara has an ingrown toenail. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm not touching that one. Let's see. And what did he, what did Gary want to know? Some Gary wanted. What did the kid get in trouble for? Oh, Kelly's telling us chocolate. Her favorite is chocolate. I'm not telling you, Olivia. You done got no. You're not tricking me again. It's bullocks. We'll say it for you, hon. Thank you. You're welcome. But, yeah. I'm and not the mountain saying. oysters. I had beer made of mountain oysters when I was in Denver, Colorado. You said to change the subject. That's true. <laughs> they were all toenails. It was very strange. The beer. It was um. What was it? Um. What do you call it when you smoke fire something? When you smoke, smoke what? When you smoke fire? It was smoked. Um, it was smoked um, cow, not cow, bull thingies, and they made beer of it. And they, this guy that was taking us on the tour of the mountains said that we should go to this place and try it, just to say we've tried it. So I said, "Well, heck, I'm from New York. I'll try 
Rocky beer. Mountain oysters. Yeah, I may. I will try beer made with Rocky Mountain oysters, and I did. It was very smoky. Christine's buying wigs. I don't know. I was just putting that word in there. Yeah, Penny. It's not really a bad word. Don't worry about saying it. She makes fun of the way I say it. Oh, Christine is going for buttocks. <laughs> Martha, I'm telling you, it's falling apart here. What do you really have to say? Nothing. Billy's not saying anything. Okay, I got it all under control. Okay. Martha's rethinking this invitation. <laughs> hey, you're all keeping me going. Look at I got it all painted up now. He's like, I'm not asking these two back on. Okay. Now we're getting into buttocks. Okay. That's not the way I say it, Miss Olivia. Okay. She, no, I'm not doing that. She'll make fun of the way I say it. My well, father and all. Let's see if I can make fun of it. No, no, not hardly. No. No, no, no. No. I ain't eating no ball smoke, fried meat, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, my father-in-law, uh, when I met Leroy, we were sitting there in his front yard. And he goes, do you know what a mountain oyster is? And silly me being young, I go, no. Well, he described what they were. And it's right along the line of Olivia, except for it's hogs. <coughs> oh, I didn't eat them. I just sort of drank a beer made with them. <laughs> Man. <laughs> smoked beer, I don't think that it would. You know, maybe if it was smoked bacon beer. Yes. Yeah, it was smoked beer. Oh, go. I figured, you know what? How many times am I going to go to Denver, Colorado? Really? So I figured I'd try it. <laughs> okay, Olivia, what's teabagging? Oh, I know this. I know this. Wait a minute. I'm thinking about it. So you said, you know what teabagging is. Um, yeah, I know what teabagging is. Somebody finally told me what that was. No, I don't know. Oh, gosh. Am I the only one? <laughs> yes, Vic. That's what I had. Scrotum. Is that what it is? Scro uh, oh, scrotum no, teabagging is... Oh, wait, you know what? This is going to get me in trouble. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, dude. <laughs> All right. Have you made your own molds for resin? Yes, I have, Pamela. Oh, good. Pamela's bringing us on the right track. She's getting us back to crafting. And Gary ain't saying. Okay, good. Okay. Um, let's see. How can I describe this? If this is what I think it is, if somebody's on the floor looking up and the man is standing over there. <laughs> I don't even want you to finish. <laughs> to go and he's going up and down and that's what they call teabagging. Is that what it is? Yep, I got it. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so kind of explain that. A guy standing over there. No, 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 no. You don't need no explanation. <laughs> no, a guy laying on the floor. Somebody laying on the floor. Someone's laying on the floor looking up, and there's a man standing over their head, and he's, like, crouching up and down quickly. He's like, oh, God. at his you-know-what is a tea bag. Like, who would really want to see that and use that for tea? I mean, you want to talk about nightmares. <laughs> We're gonna have one. <laughs> Gosh, maybe that was something I did not need to learn up here. Yeah, I know, but yeah, it was full of useless information. I want to go back but to Kelly. I, I know what it is. I think now, <laughs> my imagination is highly strong. <laughs> that, I know, it's getting late. That is not. No, it ain't Olivia. Well, got a message from somebody. Okay, hold on. Really? I Green see it beeping. Right. 
I mean, really, seriously, we're not going to go there. We really have to change the subject because I'm going to get in trouble. So let's go to something else. Okay. Uh, I thought um, we were pouring today, but they didn't come out very well. Why did not they come out very well, Pamela? Did you make your own resin mold? You got to make sure that you got a good bottom in it or else it's not going to come out right. Olivia, you'll never behave. So don't even go there. <laughs> get me in trouble. Olivia is definitely the wild one without the key. <sighs> yeah, don't give her no key. <laughs> Let's see what our egg looks like. Oh, my God. Wait, egg. that's what I was pouring today, and they didn't. Oh, that's really pretty. What is not coming out well with Pam? Hold on, I gotta go up. Yeah, she was doing resin, I believe. I think now that I got what the marks on there I got, I'm gonna take the white ones off. Because that is just gonna screw me up. They're little eggs. I tell you what, I can do a canvas no problem, but them eggs are up. Um I try to make a mold, Pam. I don't know if you're talking about the resin that went into the mold you made or the mold itself. I find making molds not one of my easiest things to do, and I've tried a few different things to do it with. I know some of the ladies have talked online about making molds. I know I asked this, and they was, there are um, YouTube videos on how to make molds using silicone. And uh, baking powder or baking soda. So I know that there's instructions online how to do it. Oh, Pamela, I think I know the problem. Did they come out kind of weird feeling, kind of greasy like? Oh, God, Telly. Never mind, Telly. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> look away, look away, look away. If it don't come out very well, it's because it's not stirred enough. You really have to stir it and stir it and stir it to make sure it is clear. She poured into foil and it set too fast. Foil and it sets and it set too fast. I'm not quite sure. Is, are you making the oil's got some type of reaction to it that cures it quicker? But why are you putting it into foil? And it's set fast. Pour it into foil and set fast. I'm getting confused if she's making the mold or she's using the resin in the mold. Sounds like um, poured into foil and it's set too fast. I don't, I don't see anybody pouring any into foil. So I'm thinking, let's see. Maybe she had the foil under it to hold it. To hold it to me. I know, I know that when you do a resin and it looks like it's all cured and everything, and you pull it out and it's greasy feeling, it's because it wasn't stirred enough. Okay. Because um, I've done that a couple times. And it's really upsetting because you got to throw it away because that stuff will not come out. It's it, It's definitely a chemical reaction to the foil if she poured it into the foil. Shirley, we're not quite sure what's going on. If she was using the foil as a mold, we're trying to figure this out. We're going to try to help her. We just need a little bit more info. Okay, I'm making the mold with a kit for mold making. Okay. Okay. Oh. 
I'm making the mold. So she made the mold. Are you, are you, Pamela, are you using the epoxy mold or are you using that liquid mold that sets up into like jelly? <laughs> Foil holds heat, that's for sure. The kit for mold making. The kit for mold making. So she's making the mold. So it's not like she's pouring the resin in the mold. She's right. Making so mold she's out. making a mold piece. She's using foil. You should use like a little Tupperware thing. Yeah. You should use Tupperware big enough to make sure that the thing you want to mold is going to fit in it. And you got to have it however deep. But don't be doing it in foil. Use it. I like Nikki and um, Crystal. They use little Tupperware bowls. Yeah. That's how they make their molds. That's what I've seen. It's a liquid two-part mix. Okay. Okay. It's it's the liquid. I think don't put it in foil. Use one of use use a. Cool Whip container or I don't know what kind that Nikki or uh, Crystal uses. Nikki and Crystal. I really don't know what kind that is. It might be an amazing product. I used I I bought that two part uh, putty one, and that stuff works pretty good. But if you're gonna do a big piece, you got to use the liquid. Because I, I made some, and it takes a lot to make a little thing. Oh, God, where's my molds? See, this is the epoxy ones. Now, see, I made it too thin in the middle. Yeah. But it's still molded. Um, this stuff is really good. It is. It's really good. Is that the two-part one that you mix together? It's, it's, it's the two-part epoxy, yes. Okay. Or the putty. It's the putty. Putty. Okay. And it takes quite a bit to do a little tiny mold. Yes. But I've made what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I made a couple, and I've still got epoxy left. Or the putty left, but I made these are supposed to be. I don't remember what it is. I think it was supposed to be the little pine cone. And uh, I think it worked, but tiny, tiny, tiny. Pam says she's she had some plastic boxes, so she's going to try again tomorrow. Plastic boxes, yes. Try that. Make sure you've got it deep enough. You know, if you've got like a thick project, you know, if you got like a half inch thick, make sure you got about an inch of liquid in there. And I haven't played with it, but that looks more fun to play with. But you got to make sure you got when you set that piece in there. I don't know what temperature or where you got to set it at, but you got to make sure you got enough in there that it'll. Yeah. But try a Tupperware container, or one of them type of containers, instead of the foil. So now the ones that you made out of the two-part putty are they flexible? Yeah. Yeah. They are. Okay. Martha, what was the board you put the rosettes on? Foam board. Foam board. You buy at the dollar store. Which one is done? It's over there on the wall. Oh, there's the door. Oh, I wonder if my E6000 has uh, cured yet. Well, <laughs> ain't that a bite in the shorts? <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> I had to glue this, where are we at? I had to glue this to the sticker thing. Of course, I didn't wash the door either. 
probably should have happened if I watched the door. But. Well, that is not going to work, is it? Okay, let's try it. No, look too bad hanging up there, huh? Oh, it's staying for a minute. I'm kind of waiting for the countdown until it falls on the floor. Well, that's not fun. I know. It might stay. It might stay. If not, I'll just put another double stick tape under it and we'll make it stick. Yeah. It's <laughs> or I can just screw a hole into the nice door and hang it that way. Is it heavy? It's not, it doesn't look like it's very heavy. Is it heavy? It fell? Shoot. <laughs> yep, oh. it gone. Shoot. <laughs> um, you know what would be really good? Actually, if I had a, um, 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 a wreath hanger over the door. Yes. I've got one in the bedroom, but I got all my hangers on it. So what else have I got? I don't have another little small one, do I? I got an idea, though. I have an idea. Uh-oh. Mm, no, I don't. <laughs> I did, but I don't know. Uh. Oh, and nothing broke off. Yay. Oh my God, that black rose with the purple glitter on it. That's too farmed out, man. Okay, so I don't know where the hook went. Somewhere in the hallway. I got to figure out how to hang it now. I guess I really could take, use a coat hanger. Yeah. Good idea, Mrs. Wiggins. Um, I could actually take that hanger off my bedroom door. Who needs, who needs to walk into a whole bunch of hangers, right? I could take that off there and hang it up. Okay, what else? Use foam board, make a box, then use hot glue to seal in the cracks. Uh, I would, that might could work. I don't know if anybody's tried it that way, but you can go to the dollar store and get like three containers for a dollar. So. Well, I'm afraid hot glue might um, melt. The foam board? Well, the uh, high glue works work pretty good on it, but once you pour that resin in it, if it's got a heat reaction to it, it's going to melt that hot glue and tear your box apart anyway. That's true. So, no, that's not going to work. Next. <laughs> I wouldn't try it, Pamela. You're just going to, you if it does break down the hot glue and all that stuff, you're going to have a hell of a mess. Yeah. Oh, it worked for you? Really, Olivia? Oh, okay. Uh, resin A's. He shows how to make molds and things you need. All right. There you go. Who is that? Hey, resin A's? Try that, Pamela. Watch him and see what he does. Resin A's. There's one guy that I watched. It might even be him. <laughs> um, 
he makes a lot of things with resin. He did, you know, like the colored pencils and he actually did like a ship with little figures in it. And then he, he gets, you know, he, he makes big things and then he puts it on the um, carving wheel. What they call that? Oh, I want to oh, know. Oh, I know. Wood turner. Is it a yeah. wood turner? Oh, my God. He makes some of the coolest stuff. Is that that resin ace guy? I'm not sure if it's the same one or not. Uh, I'm sure I like this. But yeah, it wouldn't hurt to watch him and see what he makes and then go from there. Yeah, I just got to maybe. But I've never seen anybody work with resin on foil unless they use the foil underneath their container to catch whatever. But I just got them cheap Ziploc brand plastic containers. I will try and get container at Dollar Tree tomorrow after my doctor appointment. There you go, Pamela. That's a good idea. Yeah. And then you can just keep them in your resin stash and you can use them over and over and over. Because you can pull all that that um, rubbery stuff right out of that container. And I do believe so. I have to redo some of these because I don't like them. Okay. Okay. So. There's well. another project I'd like to try too. Maybe we gotta figure this out. I still want to make more rocks from a rock garden. So this lady actually had a rock similar to this. And I can't really go back any farther. Um and she did a dragon's eye with scales. Oh my god, I think I want to try it with this one. That's a big rock. Yeah, but you know what would be cool out of this one? Is a Fred Flintstone house. <laughs> that's true. That's true, too. You know, because he always had, well, it's not quite slanted, but there's a way we could work a roof on it. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Actually, this would be perfect for the bottom of a paw print if you wanted to put some toes around it. Shirley likes it. The eye sounds cool. Yeah, that eye she did was really, really awesome. I want to try that on here. Because I could put that like um, right close to my hostas. Like he's he's watching all my little gnomes out there. Uh, that would be cool. If I ever get that garden, I've got to get out and get some yard work done. Yeah. And put my rocks out there, but... When I went to Arkansas, I come back, my bird cage missing from the hook, plus that big wood basket I've wanted a lot of, lot of years. Somebody threw one out. I brought it home. Well, that is gone, too. Wow. And I'm really, really, really pissed about that and very upset about that because no one around here does that. The only thing happened is that they come and cut the trees down while I was gone. Right. Yeah. I'm thinking that's who took them. Yep. So I still have to talk to the manager and tell her what the heck happened. But, you know, since that, I don't know. I didn't realize the wood basket was gone until like last month. Shirley says to paint the lion on one of your rocks. Oh, that lion was so, so pretty on that rock. I don't know if I could paint one of them, Shirley. I really don't. I've got a book. i got a book on how to paint animals on rocks. Maybe we ought to just try that one day. Experiment. Okay, that's something. I've never really painted a, a true-looking animal on a rock. I might have to find a smoother rock for that, though. Because there's like, uh, what was it? All sorts of little animals in that book. I linked his video where he makes his mold in your messenger. Okay, well, 
Hold on, and I will pass it on to Pamela. Casting. Oh, no, wait a minute. There it is. Shirley said that they painted it on a slate rock. The lion, I guess. Okay, Pamela, there's... Oh, there's too many. Oh, boy. Well, let's see if... That was like 304 characters, but wait. Sometimes if you just backspace a little bit, it might still... Oh, it might not. I think I skipped into something else. Okay. Yeah, I have 220. There's 220. Let's see if it... No. Oh, 200. I got a... Oop. Olivia says it's the second one. And then zero, zero, Okay, seven. let's see where that took us. <laughs> I got to see because I cut so much out of it. YouTube. Resonate. Okay, it worked. It went right to resonates. Okay. That one worked. What was the other one? Casting. James Bond. Let's see if I can collect that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe that's a shorter term. Oh, heck no. Huh. What happened? Okay, this one was the whatever one was. Okay, that should help Pamela out somewhere. I mean, if you can get away with doing, you know, maybe even cardboard, I don't know. Now we get it there. We'll get it there. I think the plastic containers were the best because they're the ones like if you just buy, you know, those uh, what do you call those things that you keep food in, the small ones. At least you know that it's not going to leak. Okay, Barbara, I'm putting it in kittens. There's one. Oh, good, it's there. Here's the other one. I got kittens open, so. Yeah. Okay, I shared it in kittens. You're welcome, sweetheart. It's the second one, O double seven. I will try to get container. Okay, blah 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 blah. Mount the foam. Would melt the foam too because that resin gets hot. Yeah, but foam board has paper on each side. But that stuff does get quite warm. I don't know if it's enough to burn paper. Found the resin. Now, are you talking about that yeah. that putty? Say what? Are you talking about the putty? That amazing... No, I'm just talking about resin, period. Oh, okay. Resin or that... Um, I've never used that liquid molding stuff, so I don't know how that goes. I don't know if it gets warm. I don't know. I don't know if it's a cool mixture, but it seems like anything that mixes together should be kind of warm. I mean, when you're... Even two-part epoxy, when you mix that, you can feel it gets warm. Yeah. Yeah, so. Well, there was, I know that when I was asking, I think it was Barbara or maybe it was, I don't know, maybe anyone of Barbara, Christina, Tally would tell us, they sent me to videos where you take that silicone that you get in, in, the, in that tube and you use that corking gun to get it out and they put it in water and they mix it. I don't know. I was watching it. It was very interesting. And ever since then, 
I haven't been able to go to the Dollar Tree because I thought they were closed. But then I found out they're open because they're considered essential stores because they sell food. So now I have. Yeah, to I got one dollar store that stays open because I have food. Yeah. So I got to get myself down to the dollar store so I can get some of that. Um, it was Barbara. It was you. Thank you, sweetie. It's the silicone that um, you buy and you, you mix it. With some dish soap and then I also think baking soda or baking powder. I have to it go was back. something to do with baking soda, I think. You gotta, yeah, I got to go back and look at it again. You mix it and then you put it in water and then it becomes like you can use that to make mold. I, I got think. two tubes. I got two tubes of it. And right there's my caulking gun hanging up. Oh, right excellent. There. Wait a minute. Ah, right there's the caulking gun. Look how many scissors you have. Huh? I was looking at your scissors. You got a lot of scissors. Oh, wow. Yeah, all the scissors over there are all my decorated edges. Nice. The tube, the tube holding up, and there's all my paintbrushes. Yeah, that's, that's, you see my hatchet hanging up there, too? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't see the hatchet. That's the most fun part. Where is it? You want to see my hatchet? No. Oh, that's a hatchet. I bought it to chop tree down, tree limbs. And it works nice. <laughs> it's a husky. Uh, let's not give us your Lizzie Borden impersonation now. Try to hold it up there. Heck, are we going to bring out our knives now? That would be fun. Hold on. Hey, Lizzie Borden. Hey, they have a thing down south they're doing is where they you can go into this oh, it's building and they throw tomahawks or hatchets. I it's kind of like bowling, but you're throwing. Oh, oh okay. I yeah, I'd like to try that. Maybe you were into some crazy stuff when you were running around where they were throwing hatchets at you. <laughs> Here we go. I got my knives. Oh, I miss Hallie Mae. My knives got a gunk on them, is what they've got on them right now. You such a tear kitty. Yeah, don't bite me neither. I'll use cornstarch. Okay, Barbara. Cornstarch. Is it cornstarch? Yeah, okay, cornstarch. Cool. Damn. We no, came back. We see. came back. It just said, she was showing me the hatchet guns. I got a little bit nervous. I couldn't be chopping the hatchet at the same time. Okay. Wait. And Shirley says powder. Salt is gritty. And then, yes. Okay. Right at Barbara Higgins. Hold on. And the new craze, the hatchets. I don't know where we're going tonight. I, I can bring up my kitchen knives. Hope they're clean, but I can do them. I know one of these boxes fit in there really well. Barbara French soap? That's not it. What? Liquid, not fish. Okay, liquid from fish. <laughs> <laughs> That phone yours. <laughs> there, that project is done. Okay. Ooh, that's it done. Nice. You did good, June. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a little hot. I'm getting. Ooh. You worked it, girl. You worked it. <laughs> Olivia, I mean, Olivia, Teresa, I don't know if you were here the night that Martha was doing black eyes. Okay. This was the funniest night we had. So Christine told me to watch the video so I could explain it to Martha on because Martha couldn't watch the video and do the show at the same time. That was nuts because I had to give a blow by blow description of doing black ice. What the hell were you doing black ice on anyway now? What? What? I I lost track. What? Okay. <laughs> I want to, to go to it down the air conditioner because I'm frozen. 
Oh, you can do the thing with black ice, but we had to go over the step-by-step -step instructions. And Christine instructed me on what video to watch. Oh, that. Oh, what did you make black ice on? It's a card. You make it on paper. You got to oh. make it on mirrored paper. Ah. Okay. And it's pretty. That's what I made that guitar. The guitar. That was the front of it. Oh, okay. See, I don't remember what it was. I just remember that you made black eyes. Yep. Except the original way to put it is you use uh, clear embossing powder on it too, but I didn't. I liked it much better. Huh. All you got to do is take your silver or gold mirrored paper. You take your black ink. You use the whole square and you just run it down your paper. That's Is that what I read? But she also did it. For, <laughs> huh? I'm saying, was that what I read? Because I had to read the instructions and I don't know what I was reading because I was getting yelled at. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> What's in that iced tea? Okay, Olivia, we want to watch how to make dragon eyes. Ivy got the pot. I okay, not, I got I've got the polish, but she needs to right up there. I, they ain't went far, but oh. yes, dragon eyes is another one we got to make because them are so cool. Okay, yeah, so that's another project. They're right up there. That that consists of a lot of fingernail polish. <sighs> Olivia needs glass beads. Well, I'll get a hold of Gary. He's got some. I don't know if they're glass or not. Is it bedtime yet? No, Olivia. You got to stay up another 27 hours. Surely said somebody. somebody probably is, but it ain't gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley said very pretty to you, Martha. And I, I I guess it was the box that was finished. I don't know. Probably the box. Well, thank okay. you, Shirley. I made a rose. Okay, so I've got I got two things done today. Very good. All I gotta do is drill that little baby up to the tip. The wall. She did make a rose. Hmm. I'm on a delay, and I seen her rose. She did make a rose. Oh yeah. On a Q-tip. <laughs> oh, the You're so handy, June. Ah, oh, the things that aren't going on here. Okay. So what did you make the rose out of? Paper. And then I, paper. I, I sprayed just regular crappy paper because I was just Cra practicing. Crappy paper? Yeah. Com <laughs> computer, you know, uh, computer paper. So it's like really uh, weak. But I was just practicing. Because I have a die cut. So I wanted to... I thinking of a project that I might need big roses on. So instead of buying it, I wanted to try making them. So well, that one looks more like. Yeah. Pull the center in and it'll look yeah, more like the darn flower. Yeah. If I pull the center in, it'll look more like a rose. Yeah. Over my Q-tip. It's one of those things. Greg and I reverse painting on glass or resin dome. Not yet, Pamela. I, I bought the cabochons, and they've been out for months, <laughs> but have not done it yet. And they look so fun to do. What, Missy? What? No. Okay. All right, so I'm multi. I'm multi commenting.
I watched June do that one night, and she made a mistake. Oh, yeah, which one I was doing? Yeah, what one night you did. <laughs> what I was writing, you mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You said you got to watch what you're typing because it ended up in the chat. And yeah, then you I know that. I've done that. Between typing here and typing on my phone, I don't know who I'm typing. <laughs> what kind of molds you got, Gary? You're going to have to show me a few pictures of some. Oh, I might have some. I have some bottles and supplies in them. Mm, molds. M-O-U-L-D-S. I know I want to do another um, mixed media, but I want to do, I got that mermaid wooden thing. Another thing, I got that sled up there, but I think we can wait till, we can do the sled in Christmas in July. Oh, thank God. Yeah. You, I thought you said slut, and I was really not, saying, what the heck were you talking, you got a slut up there? I was like, what, where are we going now, Martha? Where are we going? <laughs> What's up on your wall? On your wall? No, the question to ask is, where have we not been? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea tonight. Okay, the sled, Christmas in July, that's a great idea. For the like sled. Yep. But, I want, but I'm still on the mermaid. Oh, Kathleen, I was wondering where you were. You fell asleep. You missed a lot. Oh my! I have a habit of putting people to sleep. No. Okay. Thank you, Penny. I'm Barbara. I mean, guarantee, guarantee you, Nikki was watching so she could go to sleep. Yep. I guarantee you. So let me see the mermaid. I don't know even know what you're talking about the mermaid. Olivia, it's just plain old southern tea with not that much sugar in it. Oh. Uh. The mermaid. Okay, I found the mermaid in here. I'm drinking coffee. Coffee. And there's water somewhere around here. Was it in here? No, it was not in this one. Why it's in the resin box, I don't know. I bought it. Where in the heck did I buy it at? I don't remember. Where's the water? Okay. Here. Oh, how pretty. It's just the wooden one, but I can put her behind the octopus. Oh, yeah. I got a, I'd do a big canvas, maybe. Yeah, so i just been wanting to do another mixed media because I actually kind of enjoyed that one that yeah. I did. Not that I'm going to go out and spend a whole lot of money and all the stuff that they think they really need for it that they really don't, but they do. Yeah, because um, yeah, I can use half the stuff I got here. Yep. But I, like I love watching fun. the process. I love the process of it. Because you, you look at different items they put on it and all that, and you don't, you're like, what? And the and layering, end. Layering. I like to layer. Yeah. Yep. On my quilling, I do a lot of layering in the quilling, and I like that part. Yeah. I layered a whole bunch of the, I mean, layered, not just glued it to the top one on that um, rosette wreath, but I layered. I mean, I, I made stackers and layered on top, and I like layering stuff. But in order to do a lot of that layering, you have to have the resin pieces. I've got a box of it up there that um, most of that stuff up there is what uh, Amy Wolf sent me. So, is your icon, lion icon, a quilled piece? It's quilled, but that was a picture we got off Pinterest. Actually, two of my lions I've got off Pinterest. There's two quilled lions. They put some work into that. I did not do it. No, I did not do that lion. I just, mm -mm, I haven't tried that. That big of a picture. Mine are more shadow boxes, layered flowers. 
I have to widen my horizons around that too, I suppose. Uh, Barbara says she just burned a hole in her PJs. Oh, <laughs> no. Pothole jammies. Well, we call it potholes up here in Michigan because, Michigan because the roads are so many potholes, so we call them potholes. Pothole nightgowns. <laughs> I don't know. Weird, huh? No. I don't think they sell fire retardant bubble wrap. <laughs> I think Shirley said she could be traced on paper as well. I think she meant the mermaid. I think she meant that. And then yeah. she on paper. Let me go see what she said. Tissue paper would work also. That was, I think, the roses she was talking about, that part. Okay, yeah, traced on paper. Yeah. Yeah, she was, I don't know where I got her at. Probably got her at the dollar store. That's the only place I've been in the last couple months. Huh. Yeah. If you traced her on, pay, on uh, like, cereal boxes or something and you glued them all together. You can sort of make two facing each other, too. Yeah, I know. I know. Not fun. Good night, Pamela. We'll see you night. next time. Hope you had a good time. Uh, ouchie. Yep. Well, 1.30. I think it's time to unwind. Okay, so we got that much of the egg done. I'm going to let that dry overnight, and I'm going to erase all them white lines on it. Um, got that done, which I do like the green, so that is pretty cool. Okay, I'll try to get that up on the wall tomorrow, and then we'll see what it looks like. Got oh. that done. I got to figure out, I got a wire hanger. All I'd have to do is bend it over and then have the hook, so that'll work, right? So we got to cut it off, cut it off, and make a yeah. So we'll do that with a wire hanger. And so how many hours did I do? Five hours. I don't remember. How many hours did we do last time? Was it five, ten? So that's about. I remember. Say ten hours. We got ten more hours to go. Oh, not tonight. No, not tonight. <laughs> You know, we still got uh, five that days. That was quick, dude. Five <laughs> days. I was, got, I was like, well, we're, well she I, didn't, I love the panic, June. <laughs> it's a beat. I, I, I'm sorry, but my, my buttocks are getting like a little sore here. Good night, Penny. Good night, Penny. Well, I need some sleep, so I'm off to cot. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think that might be a good thing. I think we all ought to get out of here. It's been a while. I'm ready to go sit in my recliner for a while. Although I never recline, I rock in it. I'm ready, I'm um, ready to go, Nani. Yep, yeah, I think I'm about done. I've, I've got that done. I got that done. I'm working on the egg. <laughs> I actually want to make a rosette wreath for Pam. I was thinking about doing a red, white, and blue one for 4th of July. And then I got little extra rosettes over here left over. I might even do one for Polly. Wow. It don't take much to do them, except I did a lot of. And I bought that reindeer moss thinking oh that'll be cool like sprigs it's not sprigs it's loose and wimpy it's like oh that is not gonna work on there so i didn't put none on it okay 
Yeah. Oh, Gary, that I've always got something for next time. <laughs> we gotta think up of some new conversations, though. But oh, anyway, anyway, I guess I will say good night, everybody. Hope you all I, had, I had so much fun. Thanks Thank you, Martha. <laughs> Hugs and kisses, and we shall all see you next time round. Good night, everybody. Thank you, June. Thank you, oh, Martha. You're welcome. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got to do my. Wait, wait, what? I got to do my goodnight kissings. There. Done. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. That was has left the building. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night, Good night. Good night sweetie. Good night. Uh, Shirley says goodnight, too. Okay. Bye. Good night, Shirley. <laughs> Bye. And broadcast. All right.